uh, pa naman tayo mag-start pero yung malapit na tayo mag-start. <laughs> Oo. Hindi pa naman tayo mag-start pero malapit na. Before that, yung mayroon pong complete lectures mula day one. Yung may complete lectures mula day one hanggang kanina. Okay? Submit nyo dun sa registration. Oo. Yung may complete lectures mula day one hanggang kanina. Submit po ninyo dun sa registration. Thank you very much. Praise Team Echo, Lighthouse Echo.
Good evening, guests and delegates of our first ever Music and Blessing Conference. The Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church of Erik City is humbled and blessed as we have been given this opportunity to host the conference 2024. Throughout the conference, we have witnessed profound growth and abundant blessings, not only for our esteemed delegates, but also for us as hosts. As we embark the journey of celebrating the harmonious union of music and divine blessings, we give God the utmost glory for His direction and provision. We are grateful for the vision bestowed upon our pastor, leading to the establishment of the Ezer Foundation Orchestra as an offspring of the music ministry. This orchestra stands as a testament of God's grace and serves as a vessel for spreading His message of love and salvation to churches and communities far and wide. As we share the history and journey of our church orchestra with you, may you all be inspired to follow after and be partners with us in drawing souls closer to our Savior Jesus Christ through the power of music and the testimony of our lives. May this evening be filled with encouragement, joy, and a renewed commitment to serving our Lord through the music ministry.
The Ezra Foundation Performing Arts and Orchestra was established in 2008, but its roots trace back to 2004 when it began as an ensemble. Join me on a journey back in time as we witness the flourishing of the Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church of Erika City Music Ministry, the Ezra Foundation Performing Arts and Orchestra. The Ezra Foundation Performing Arts and Orchestra is an organization of musically talented Nicolanos established by the senior pastor of the Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church of Erika City, Bishop Rosalier Y. Arolfo. With his vision of aiding the poor and the needy, he founded this organization to nurture children and youth through music. In 2004, it all began with an ensemble consisting of recorders, pandorias, and guitars. Over the years, it evolved incorporating new musicians from Lighthouse Baptist Academy and introducing violinists in 2006. Ensemble transformed into the Ezra Foundation Performing Arts and Orchestra in 2008, opening its doors to teach music to all children, youth, and adults. Now, the orchestra stands as the largest orchestra in the Philippines, numbering to more than 300 players, offering music education for free. Through Bishop Rosalier's visionary leadership, the orchestra has gained recognition nationwide traveling to different places in the Philippines to spread the joy of music and share the blessings of God, ultimately winning souls to Christ through the power of music. Through the years, the orchestra has been instrumental in developing professionals in the music and other fields, as well as providing youth intervention programs within the church community. By nurturing their talents and instilling values of discipline, commitment, and passion, the orchestra empowers young individuals to become active workers in church ministry, setting an example for others in the community. This combination of musical training and spiritual development promotes personal growth and strengthens the church community, inspiring others to follow their journeys of faith and service. As it continues to thrive and evolve, the Ezra Foundation Performing Arts and Orchestra remains a shining example of how the harmonious blend of music and faith can bring about positive change in the world. The journey of the Ezra Foundation Orchestra from its humble beginnings to its impactful outreach serves as a testament to the blessings bestowed upon our ministry. The story of our orchestra is not just one of musical achievement, but also of spiritual growth and community impact. Let us be emboldened to continue our journey with renewed passion and purpose. May the melodies we create and the harmony we share resonate not only within these walls, but also in the hearts of all who hear them. With gratitude in our hearts and faith in God, let us continue to be instrument, instruments of God's grace and vessels of His love and mercy. May God's abundant blessing accompany us richly as we make Christ known to others as their Lord and Savior, the great God. Psalm 98 verse 4 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Throughout the duration of our conference, these three days, we have had workshops, hands, and improve our God-given talents. And this evening, we are proud to introduce the results of our workshops from our beginners to our... That was the starter group A. They displayed to us the basics of the violin. Next will be starter group B who will be playing for us Jesus loves me
That was our starter group B. Praise the Lord for that wonderful music. Next, we will be hearing from our Woodwind Workshop. They will render to us the hymn, Nothing But the Blood. That was our Woodwind Workshop Fruit. Okay, this time we will be hearing from the beginners group of our Strings Workshop. They will play to us Grace Greater Than All Our Sins.
Amen. Indeed, God's grace is greater than all our sins. As we have been washed in His blood, the next performers will play Are You Washed in the Blood? And they are from the se shellist section of our strings workshop. Amen. That was our shallist section. 1 Corinthians 6, 20. For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. This time, we will be hearing a duet from a father and son. They will sing to us, Si Jesus ang lahat sa buhay ko. Thank you. 
Amen. Brother Elvin and his son are part of our vocals workshop. And this time, we will hear all our violinists rendering Psalm 48 in music. That was Psalm 48, 1 and 2. This time, we will be hearing a part of those that already played. They are called the developing section and they will play for us Power in the Blood.
Amen. That was our developing group from our string workshop. This time, we will be hearing a quartet. Okay, they will be playing instruments of flute and clarinet. And they will render to us the hymn, Amazing Grace. Okay, that was our woodwind quartet. This time, we will hear a duet. Okay, they will play nothing but the blood. These are the Frianella siblings.
time another Jewit will render to us great is thy faithfulness they are angel Nicole and Shello okay the former Jewit and this one are all students and products of the Lighthouse Baptist Academy of Irga City they are also members of the Ezer Foundation Orchestra Great is our faithfulness by Angel Nicole and Chris Cello. This time, although Amazing Grace has already been heard, we will hear it now from a trio of violinists. They are Roydy, Beloved, and Kay. 
also members of the Ezer Foundation Orchestra. This time another trio. They are JJ, Cristiano, and Sian, and they will play for us. I surrender all. The result of receiving God's amazing grace is us surrendering our all. This time we will hear their group. Okay, yung naunang nagduet, yung nagtrio yung dalawa. Okay, and they will be playing for us wonderful grace of Jesus. As Christians, we celebrate not the worldly achievements that we have, but God's wonderful grace in our life.
marami na tayong napakinggan na instrumentals. This time, let's hear a vocal trio. Since we have received the wonderful grace of Jesus in our life, it is time to walk by faith and not by sight. They will sing to us, Walking by Faith. That was the vocal trio from Mithka Bible Baptist Church. They were students of our vocal workshops. This time, papapakinggan naman natin the accompaniment, accompaniment, accompaniment section. Okay? This is this section is very vital in the work in the music ministry. Uh, they liven things up encourage us in spirit as we sing for the Lord. They will be playing for us at Calvary. However, as they are playing, as they are accompanists, we will be joining them. As they play at Calvary, we will sing the lyrics of the song. Amen ba? Okay. Witin natin yun at Calvary. Sasabayan natin sila. Oh, this time, tayo munang susunod sa kanila. Pagdating sa kanya-kanya congregation, sila naman ang susunod sa atin. Okay ba? Oh, amen. Medyo tahimik. Pwede ba natin palakpakan? Yun. O, konting appreciation sa ating mga accompanist. O, they are very flexible.
that was our accompaniment section. This time, as our accompaniment session, ah, session section is going down our choir loft, we will hear a song from a little boy. This little boy will sing, Trust and Obey. The formula of our life being blessed is to trust and obey none other else but the Word of God through the man of God. Trust and obey. Amen. What that was Kuya Hampus Hansen saying to us, trust and obey. This time, let us hear from our brass section as they play, send the light. Amen. That was our brass section. This time, we will hear the results of the vocal section as they form a choir and sing to us the mission. The mission 
to send the light to every corner of the world. Preach the word to every creature.
Okay, that was our vocal section. This time, as we continue, as we continue to perform the mission that God has entrusted to us, let us not trust in our strengths, our abilities, nor our talents, but let us trust in God who provides all we need and everything that we may ever need in our service to Him. This time, we will hear the joint choir and orchestra of course with our delegates from the vocal section and our delegates from the various sections of our workshops we will sing to us god can and he will
Okay, maraming salamat po. So that was our camp choir and orchestra. So yan po yung lahat ng output ng ginawa nating 3-day music camp. So actually po, ito po yung bats na to. Kausap ko yung mga teachers natin kasi nagkikwentuhan kami. Itong bats na to, Pastor, ito po yung may mabibilis na natuto talaga. Kahit po doon sa wind, doon sa woodwind, uh, sa tatlong araw, nakatugtog po sila. So it's all by the grace of God sa pagtutulungan ng bawat isa, syempre ng mga delegates natin kasi participative sila. Gusto talaga nilang matuto at syempre mga teachers na natin. Okay? Maraming salamat din syempre sa ating mahal na pastor na conceptualize ng mga bagay na to para mas madami ang Amen. matuto. Okay? So ngayon po, without um, further much ado, let us welcome the senior pastor of Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church, Bishop Ross Orolfo. Amen! Magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. I am so glad and, uh, you know, enjoying the moment habang uh, tayo ay uh, dinagsan ng participants. Congratulations sa ating 420 official participants. Amen? And, uh, I'm looking forward that our place will be the haven of music. And uh, salamat sa ating uh, minamahal na mayor ng City of Iriga. Kung papanyo niya tayo ay welcome at sinusuportahan. You know, it just happened. Pasensya po kayo ngayon kasi siya ngayon ay nasa kanyang uh, family. Uh, at uh, hindi ko naman sasabihin na iwanan mo pamilya mo para sa amin. And uh, ang communication natin ay late para sa kanya. He has already uh, scheduled prior ang ating pumbutihing mayor. At uh, bilang mga krisyano, isa sa ating uh, uh, pinananampalatayanan ang Romans 13 that we always have to uh, respect and uh, honor whoever is in the position. At uh, walang krisyanong totoo na lumalaban sa otoridad. Amen? Walang krisyano na totoo na lumalaban sa otoridad. At uh, ako'y nagagalak na uh, ngayong gabi, pinaunlakan tayo, hindi man siya nakarating, kasama natin ang ating city administrator. No? No? To all the pastors, salamat po sa Panginoon sa inyo. At salamat at katuwang namin kayo in uh, developing, empowering our future through our youth. Uh, Pinag-aralan nyo ang power of music, the impact of music, ano ang nagagawa nito both personal and to the surrounding or to the people around us. It always impact others. Nakita nyo, umawit lang yung choir eh. lahat kayo nakangiti, pumapalakpak. Na, tumutugtog yung mga bata in three days. Sabi ko nga, pag ginawa nating lima, kaya lang, oo oh nga. Ha? Talagang kukulangin sa pakain. Pagpaka, parang lag, nagpapakasal tayo araw-araw. <laughs> Libreng pagkain. Sa susunod yan, baka mamaya ang mayor nang magpapakain sa atin. But we, it's not. Ganito yan eh, hindi ho tayo humihingi sa gobyerno. Amen. I don't believe na ang church ay hihingi sa government ng fund para sa operation ng simbahan. The church should never do that. Humihingi tayo, nagtumutuwang sa atin ng gobyerno pag may special project tayo, special program, gaya pag pumupunta tayo ng Baguio. No? Ang ating pong ano, nung isang taon, nung isang taon, nung isang ano yan, Sabi ni ang ating pong administrator agad-agad. Binigyan tayo para sa bases. Do, uh, hindi na nga mang kailangan. Lahat ay kunin nila eh. Salamat at uh, marami tayong mga uh, partners. Wala tayong sponsor coming from foreign. Wala tayo pong foreign sponsor. We don't have foreigners na nagbibigay sa atin mula sa ating property, sa buildings, sa operations wala ho tayo niyan. Uh, and uh, Christians, 
Huwag ho kayong aasa sa gobyerno. Hello? Think not of what you can or what you will ask or what you will receive from the government. But rather, think the otherwise. Pray for the otherwise. Lord, make us a blessing to our government. That should be the Christian mind. That should be the Christian heart. Panginoon, ano ang aming maibibigay? Hindi kung ano ang aming tatanggapin. The truth is, the word of God is telling us, it is better to give than to receive. Dapat nasa giving end tayo, hindi tayo nasa receiving end. Iyan dapat ang laging nasa puso't isipan natin. I'm, uh, I always accept gift. Tumatanggap ako ng mga gift. Hindi ko tinatanggihan. Ayong ko malungkot ang nagbibigay sa akin ng gift. Pero, mas masaya ako yung ako ang nagbibigay. Mas masaya tayo ang nagbibigay. And that's already the life of our ministry. We spend several millions every year. Million ang ating ginugugol para sa pagpapaaral. Para po sa pagpapakain ng ating pong mga clientele ng ating mga mga aged. Ayan, marami tayong aged na kinukup-kup para sa mga kabataan na kinukup-kup natin, sa scholarship natin, para sa operation ng ating church. We spend several millions. And that's millions. Ano po? Pero, hindi ho tayo umaasa na galing yan kung saan. Galing yan sa mga members ng Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church Iriga City. Amen? That's our love. That's our love. That's why I'm always thankful to the Lord. Ang laki ng pasasalamat ko sa Panginoon. Tonight, I don't want to spoil the time ng ating pong butihing uh, administrator. Pag pumupunta ako sa kanya, kahit anong ginagawa niya, eh, no? uupo yan para kausapin ako. Lahat. Eh? Ayan. Ngayon, may pinag-usapan na naman kami. <laughs> And magugustuhan niyo ang sinabi niya sa akin. But tonight, I want to give this... Uh, place uh, for our city administrator in behalf of our city mayor, the Honorable Rex Oleva, para lang ho ay uh, sabihin nandito siya sa pamamagitan ng ating city administrator. Ang dating fiscal po, dati siyang fiscal. Uh, fiscal po yan. Bumaba sa pagiging fiscal, kinuha ang opisina ng city administratorship na mas mababa ang sahod kaysa makukuha ng isang fiscal mas mataas yung isang prosecutor kaysa a city administrator but because of the love for the city the love for service he took a lower office than being a fiscal and he is now the city administrator of the city of Iriga I, do, I would like you to welcome in our pulpit ang ating butihing administrator to address us in behalf of the mayor attorney or fiscal or city administrator Wapi Wapirena Will you please, ano? Tawagin ko po siya sa ating pupudyong. Nagbiyahe po yung kaninang umaga para lang umabot sa atin. Kanila lang umaga, sabi niya, Bishop, darating po ako dyan. Ay, Manila, babiyahe po ako ngayon para lang abutin ko mamaya. Thank you. Uh, isang mapagpalang gabi po sa inyong lahat, lalo na kay Bishop Ross Olfo. Actually po, nung nakausap ko si Bishop uh, last night. Actually, nasa bakasyon po ako sa Manila with my wife, saka yung daughter ko binisita. And uh, naka-schedule pa akong umuwi ngayong gabi. Uh, sabi ko, dahil sa invitation ni Bishop Ross, ay hindi ko naman matanggihan. And uh, hindi ako nagsisisi sa nakita ko. Talagang nagka-goosebump yung nakita ko and bumalik sa alaala ko yung kasi nagseminaryo po ako almost 12 years from high school to philosophy and then theology uh, bumalik sa alaala ko yung uh, sa seminaryo and uh, nakita ko kasi uh, long ago nakapasok na ako dito and sabi ko nga kay bishop kanina uh, kung hindi sa grasya ng Panginoon, I think hindi mo ito magagawa. Sabi ko, hindi ito mere talent or mere uh, tiyaga lang. Ito may God's grace dito para magawa mo ito. 
And uh, para mapagawa mo yan sa mga congregation mo, uh, may God's grace talaga. And uh, yung, yung gift, ibinigay sa iyo para uh, mag-lead sa congregation na to. And uh, sabi ko nga sa kanya, wala pa akong nakita na baptist na walang hiya. Sa experience ko, simula nang nag, uh, nagklase ako hanggang magkatrabaho, in fact, ang unang nagbigay sa akin ng break sa karir ko ay baptist by the name of attorney Ferdinand de Chavez from Sorsogon. Anak siya ng pastor ng baptist sa Sorsogon. Siya ang nagbigay. Hindi niya ako kilala. And uh, nag-apply ako sa kanya. Nalaman niya lang na taga-bicol ako. Tinanggap niya ako. Yun ang first job ko. Lawyer ng National Power Corporation. So, kaya nga sabi ko, uh, uh, hindi ko yun makakalimutan. And uh, kanina, diniscuss ni Bishop yung wag hihingi sa gobyerno, bagkos tayo ang tutulong. Actually, ang daming trabaho ng gobyerno dapat na ginagawa ng gobyerno na kayo ang gumagawa. Katulad ng pagpapaaral. Katulad ng nakita ko yung inampon dito na bata, dapat trabaho yan ng gobyerno. Pero kayo ang gumagawa. So salamat po sa inyo and sana magpatuloy po. And uh, let us pray. Kailangan kailangan ni Bishop ng prayer natin para masustain niya ang ministry niya. And uh, alam ko matanda na si Bishop pero pero grabe ang 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 lakas niya. Hindi mo alam kung saan kumukuha. Sabi ko nga God's grace 'yan. So salamat Bishop. And sabi ko Bishop, sa December, uh, may isang araw sa park, mag-perform kayo. Kayo lang talaga. Amen. And uh, yan ang isa sa Jesuke Mayo. O isa pala sa tumutulong din sa mga nangangailangan sa atin, sa may mga sakit. Uh, and sana naman hindi kayo matulungan, sabi ni Bishop, sana hindi mo ko matulungan kasi yung may mga na-hospitalize, ang natutulungan, si Ma'am Dory. Uh, makita mo uh, actually hindi niya trabaho yung ano eh uh, personal niyang inaasikaso pumupunta siya ng ospital uh, kumbaga beyond na ng, ng uh, tawag ng trabaho niya yon pero personalized ang serbisyo niya so that must be dahil sa pangangaral dahil sa Bible dahil din sa ministry ni Bishop. So salamat sa inyo and uh, sana dumami pa kayo. And sana po um, yun nga itong building na to siguro nung sinisimulan to ni Bishop hindi niya alam kung saan kukuha. Pero by God's grace uh, nangyari. So sana Bishop humaba pa ang buhay mo para marami ka pang matulungan. And salamat sa invitation and behalf of the mayor Uh, salamat po, nagpapasalamat ang local government of Iriga sa tulong nyo. And uh, kahit wala kayong gawin, yun lang the mere fact na mabubuti kayong citizen ng Iriga, that's something. That's something. Salamat po. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ayan. You know, ako'y na ang dami niyang sinabi. Dami niya sinabi. But you see, silently, Christian, listen to this. We may not be recognized right here in this earth. But the most important here is that God knows what we are doing. That your heart and mind is clear before God. Na wala ho tayong partisipasyon sa anumang hindi tama. Bagkos tayo po ang catalyst, performing what is right in this earth. Makita nang tayo ng uh, pagtuwang, pagbutihin lang natin ang ating sarili, ang ating kalagayan sa Panginoon, pagsikapan natin. 
ang ating pamilya ay mapapabuti. Pag ang pamilya natin ay mabuti, maganda ang values at moral ang ating pamilya, ang community natin ay tataas ang moral. We don't have to shout for it. We don't have to say anything. Pero pag ang pamilya mo, ikaw mismo ay maayos sa Panginoon, katulad ng ginagawa sa mga lugar na kung saan tayo ay simple lang, wala lang imek. Kailangan natin wala lang imek. Pagdating sa church, tayo po ay maingay. Pero pagdating sa labas, hindi natin kailangan magingay. Mapapansin na ang ating pamilya ay isang tuwang sa ating community. Just the other week, I was asked, may isang estudyante sa uh, anto, La Consolacion. Tinanong ako, Bishop, ano po ba ang may tutulong ng mga pare, mga pastor, at mga so-called Christian churches sa gobyerno? Sabi ko, napakaganda ng tanong mo, anak. Walang magiging magandang gobyerno, walang magiging magandang negosyo, walang magiging magandang buhay, walang magtutulungan kung walang salita ng Diyos na ipinapangaral ng mga naga, nangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. Ang catalyst na gamit talaga ay walang iba kundi ang salita ng Diyos. If you have the word of God right in your heart and in your mind, you have God in you. The first thing is that you have the assurance that anytime we die, we go to heaven. Pag tayo ay repentant sa ating mga buhay, kinalimutan natin yung maling pananampalataya, kinalimutan natin, talilikuran natin yung maling practices, maling buhay, iyan ang repentance. Pero pag hindi mo iniwan, yung buhay mong dati, ikaw pa rin yan, hindi ka pa rin kristyano. Kahit anong reliyon mo, kahit nasa baptist ka pa. Sabi ni ng ating administrator, sabi ni Torne, sana daw dumami tayo. Ako naman ay ganito. Sana makasama ko po kayo sa langit. <laughs> Pero baka marami sa atin, nagsasabing kristyano, impyerno ang pupuntahan. So I always say this, as the word of God says, and it's telling us, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Lagi nating isaminin natin ang ating sarili. Baka tayo ay pretender na krisyano, pero hindi totoo. Ang totoong krisyano ay nagrepent ng kanyang buhay, nakalipas, kasi anumang ginagawa natin, bisyo, ano pa man yung kasamaan, galing yan sa isip natin. Ibig sabihin, mali ang ating pilosopeya, mali ang lahat ng ating ideya, mali ang alaman ng ating isip na dapat po nating alisin at ibalik natin sa Panginoon. Repentance is necessary. Without repentance, all the people are going to perish. That's why, sabi ng salita ng Diyos, repent. Then, you are not saved by repentance. Nobody is saved by own works. We are saved by receiving Jesus Christ as our Savior. It's not baptism. Baptism does not Christianize anybody. It's not baptism. It's not our good works. It's not good works. It's not following a person or a people. We only, and the word of God is teaching us that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. We have not, sa ngayon, nagpapasalamat tayo. Ang ating attendance ay umabot na ng 476 tonight, ang actual count natin. Amen? Amen? And uh, salamat sa Panginoon. Ay pray. Kaya yung iba, hindi ko na pinapasok. Kasi kung papapasokin natin, magri ano tayo, maglalagay na naman tayo ng mga monitor sa ating sa baba, dito, pati lahat yan. So sabi ko, yung iba, you stay. Sa ano na muna kayo? Sa Sunday na lang kayo. <laughs> Ganyan. So by next year, gagawa na ho tayo ng another auditorium. Amen? Sisimulan natin yung 50 by our 40 by 50 meters that's about 2000 square meter three story building three lang muna doon po sa atin sa likod hey. amen we will build about 2000 square meter 
At ang ating building po, ang lote, wala ditong galing sa gobyerno. I have been a councilor and a vice mayor of this city for quite long. Pero ni isang buhangin dito, wala po ditong galing sa gobyerno. Amen? Galing po yan lahat sa ating mga membro. Galing sa mga matatpat na krisyano. Hindi po tayo nagsusulisit para sa building. Hindi tayo nagsusulisit para sa upuan at sa lahat ng bagay. Ang sa atin, tayo po ang magbigay. Amen? Because it's better to give than to receive. Let us live by the word of God, not by our own philosophy. Kaya, let it challenge every one of us. Pag ang Diyos ang nasa atin, ala, walang makakapigil sa atin. I'm happy I have my, nandito ang aking hipag. Yeah, who is a retired uh, auditor. No? Retired auditor ay nandito sa atin. And welcome po kayo lahat. Sa susunod na taon, napakalaki ng ating, pag hindi pa natin natapos yung ating auditorium, ala, makikiusap ako sa ating administrator na gagamitin natin yung ating city, ayan, uh, sports center, na malaki-laki yun. It will be thousands ang nandun. Every quarter po, every quarter na pupunuhi ito. Every quarter, last Uh, every quarter, last Sunday of a quarter, punong-puno po ito hanggang po sa baba. Ano? So, uh, just imagine, kaya kailangan na natin mag-expand. And tonight, ayan, pakinggan po natin ang ating voice. Echo. Ayan, echo pa lang kayo, ha? Hindi ka busis, ha? Echo. Thank you. Oh. 
Thank you, Juan, for that uh, wonderful rendition. And thank you for all. Kahit tayo magtapos na, masaya na tayo, no? Ah, hindi talaga masaya pag hindi pa. You know, ang mga Baptist talaga, hindi masaya pag hindi kumpleto ang salita ng Diyos, no? <laughs> Amen? We are now on the concluding uh, moments of our uh, conference, of our camp. And ako'y naniniwala na somehow busog tayo. Amen? Salamat sa mga nagbigay ng bigas. Uy, ilang sa akong ating naubos. <laughs> Salamat po sa inyo lahat. Akala namin sabi ko eh, habang tumatagal, dumadami yung ulam. Habang tumatagal eh, dumadami. Kasalan araw-araw. Uh, humihingi ho ako ng paumanhin doon sa mga nagpila kanina na pakahaba ng pila para sa pagkain eh, maranasan pa rin natin yun Amen? Amen. Uh, wala ho tayong uh, uh, facility na malaki-laki na agad-agad ay may bibigay sa inyo but uh, the Lord always provide And thank you for all of you Salamat po sa inyo lahat mula sa mga tagapagturo ng musika, mga tagapagturo po ng ating pong iba't ibang uh, instrumento at uh, yung ating pong mga kabataan na nagiging ehemplo at uh, nagsisikap para mapaunlad ang ating mga sarili. Remember, do not be a problem to your parents. Dahil wala kayong magagawa at wala kayong may tulong. Sikapin nyo ang sarili nyo. With the grace of God, dapat kayo lumalago. Amen? And learn, start becoming responsible and be a blessing to the community. Be a blessing to others. That must be our goal. That must be the goal of every Christian. Optimize the benefit of grace which you have. Optimize it. Marami kayong magkagawa sa mundong ito. Napakalaki ng magagawa nyo. Just imagine this. Bawat isa na lang sa inyo ay makapagdala o magkaroon ng impact sa dalawa o tatlong tao. Bawat isa sa atin magkaroon ng impact sa isa, dalawa o tatlong tao. Just imagine, every generation, kung bawat isa sa atin ay nagdadala ng ganun. Eventually, in 20 years, we will be able to impact. Mga kapatid, in 20 years, we will be able to impact almost a billion persons. Amen? Amen? Amen. Wow. Kailangan lang natin maging matapat. And always put in your heart and in your mind, our God reigns. Our God reigns. Hindi natutulog ang ating Diyos. Hindi siya patay na Diyos. Isipin natin lagi ito. Pinagkatiwalaan tayo ng Panginoon ng ating buhay. Pinagkatiwalaan tayo na tayo po ay magiging biyaya pagpapala sa ating kapwa. So lagi nating iisipin yan, may pananagutan tayo sa ating Panginoon. We are His steward. Inaawit natin sa Bicol, si Kristo na gadan, si Kristo na buhay liwat, si Kristo mabalik kiraray. Lahat ng tanda ng pagdating ng Panginoong Iso Kristo ay nandyan na. In the next conference we have the end times updates Muli ang detalye na di, aking dinara sa inyo the other year. Muli ang detalye ay magdadagdag. Hindi lamang yung pagkatuyo, pagkatuyo ng River Euphrates. Hindi lamang yon. Lahat yan sa Matthew 7 and Matthew 24. Lahat yan ay nakasulat at lahat yan ay tupad na. Lahat. Padating na ang Panginoon, yung pagkatuyo ng River Euphrates, 
na ngayon ay lampas ng 80% ang pagkatuyo. Ginamit pa yan ng Babylonian Empire. Ginamit yan ng malalaki na empire sa ating buong history. Pero ngayon, isinulat sa Bible na matutuyo yan. At matutuyo yan, pitong taon makalagpas ang pagdating ng Panginoon. Hey, naunawaan niyo pong sinabi ko? Pasensya kayo kung magda... Ah, ah, ganito na lang para hindi kayo ma... Ano yan, hindi... Baka mamaya eh, mamis. Kung sunod nyo ko, ay baka kung masabi nyo, darating ang Panginoon sa taong ito, wala tayong taon na isiniset. We don't set years sa baka mamaya eh, sabihin eh, si pastor, nagtalaga na ng taon. Wala. Pero ito, halimbawa, ang pagkatuyo ng River U Preach ay 100. Pakinggan nyo maigi. Halimbawa, ang pagkatuyo ng River Euphrates na dadaanan ng 200 million soldiers na nakakabayo galing sa east of Israel papunta doon sa Valley of Megiddo which is called Battle of Armageddon. Ang Euphrates River in a count of 1 to 100 matutuyo yan sa 100 darating ang Panginoon sa 93. Are listening? Darating ang Panginoon sa 93. Yung pagkatuyo ng River Euphrates na kaya nang lumakad ang kabayo, mangyayari pa yon sa 100. Pero ang Panginoon ay darating sa 93. Seven years bago pa matuyo ang River Euphrates. Ang seven years na yan, ang tinawag na tribulation period, wala na ang mga krisyano dyan. Wala ang totoong krisyano. Wala ako dyan. Sinong wala na dito nyan? Yung, mati, yung matira, yung maiwan, sa inyo na lahat ng facilities. Sa inyo na. Pero buong hirap ang dadaanan nyo. Lahat na yan, pag kayo natatakan ng 666, pero actually, hindi naman yan yung bilang natatak yan. Walang ibang pwedeng paglagyan sa inimbento na microchip na halos one port lang ang laki nito sa grain ng bigas. One port kalaki. Kakasya siya ang makapasok sa ano to, syringe. Yung pan-inject. Walang ibang pwedeng lugaran yon para siya ay mag-function kung di itong noo o kaya itong right hand. Walang iba. Kung hindi patay yun eh. Hindi yun macha-charge. Eh pag binasa nyo ang Revelation 13, makikita nyo. Noo at kanang kamay. Lahat ng nakasulat sa Bible, tupad na. Yung pandemic, isa sa tanda ng pagdating ng Panginoon. Taggutom sa Middle East. Ngayon, tagutom na. Ang ating klema, wow. Name it, we have it in the Word of God. Pati na ang traffic in the book of Nahum. There was no time on earth na ganyang klase. Dazzling lights. I tell you, young people, Christians, malapit nang dumating ang Panginoon. And He is reigning Walang makakapigil sa Kanya. Don't be passive. Huwag na kayo dyan na pahina-hina pa at walang ginagawa. Work for God revolutionarily. Kaya lahat ng mayroon ang inyong pastor, ipinagkakaloob. Lahat ng mayroon ang inyong pastor. Lahat ng mayroon yung ibang mga raming krisyano ay ibinibigay na alang-alang sa kaligtasan ng marami. Tonight, isa sa ating pastor o isa sa ating partner na gumagastos ng milyon para sa ministry, para sa Acer Foundation Orchestra, nag-host para sa amin pag nandun kami sa Baguio. Siya ang gumagastos lahat para sa hotel, sa pagkain, isang linggo yan. 
Buong hotel. Inuukupayan namin. Buong hotel. Sa bagian. Alang-alang po na ma ang salita ng Diyos ay madala. Alang-alang na ang salita ng Diyos ay may proclaim. Namimigay at nagbibigay ng millions na Bible. Darating dito sa January, yung mga nagpiprint mismo ng Bibles, about 15 American uh, pastors ang bababa dito. Amen? That will be on January. At lahat, they are actually giving the country millions of thousands of dollars. You know why? They would like to reach out, reach more people. And we too, tayo rin ay sumusuporta sa mga misyonari. Misyonari sa ibang bansa para lang abutin ng gospel. Ang panalangin ko ay lalo niyong mahalin ang mga kaluluwa ng mahal niyo sa buhay. Reach out to them right now through music. Amen? Through music. Kaya walang krisyano na umaawit ng maawit na walang mensahe sa Panginoon. It's not about uh, you know, about uh, yung mga sasabihin natin, ay maganda naman eh. It's about the message of the song. It's about the message. Pero mahal na mahal ng magpapipreach sa atin ang musika. At nagustuhan niya ang ating musika. So by January, nandun na naman tayo hanggang pinagbenga ng Baguio. Nasa Baguio City na naman tayo. Amen? And we are expecting about 500 pastors Ano pa, sir? We'll be expecting about, uh, dito ba ay 500 mismo? 200 lang? Galing Bicol, we will be organizing para mas maraming pastor ang makapunta sa Baguio. Amen? Yung pupunta dito sa January, galing mas bate, galing sa iba't ibang bayan, at galing sa Camarini Sur, buong Camarini Sur, at yung galing po sa Albay, galing sa Daet, Camarini Norte, da galing Katanduanes, Let's pray for them. Yung sasakyan natin ay buong buo na yan. And I do believe our beloved mayor will uh, once again assist us para sa transportation. Pero panalangin nyo dahil magdadala tayo ng halos isang libo. Isang libo ba, Pastor? Buong choir ba? At orkestra? Amen. Oh. Minyon na naman ang gagastusin niya sa atin. Amen ba kayo? Hindi naman tayo. Hindi naman tayo po mga kapatid. Pag pinagtiwalaan ka ng Panginoon, hindi tayo nanghihinayang. Kasi it's your development. It's our development. When we can help people, hindi pinag-uusapan po ang pera. Hindi lalabas po natin ano mayroon tayo. Kasi ang Panginoon, inubos niya ang mayroon siya. Mula sa kanyang trono hanggang sa kanyang buhay, ipinagkaloob niya. Tayo, ni patak ng dugo, wala pa tayong binibitawan eh. So this time, I want you to prepare your heart. Are you? Your attention, your mind. All cell phones will be off. Huwag niyong haya may tumawag sa inyo. Kung naka-on man yan, for recording purposes. Amen? Pero lahat ng cell phone ay i-off natin. Si Engineer ba yan? Yes. Engineer Cabria? Wow. Yeah. Saan si Papa mo? Ayan. DPWH ka na ba? Wow. Yeah. From Iriga po yan. Yeah. Sa DPWH na. Anak ni Pastor Dan Cabria. Nandito. Dan Cabria. Masaya ako nakita kita. Akala ko. Pwede mo lang. Amen. Perpetual help po yan. Yeah. Christians, let's welcome in the pulpit once again. Ang ating katuwang sa gawain, iba, isang evangelist, at umiikot sa Pilipinas. Nandito ang ating kaibigan at mahal na mahal ako. Kahit in, ah, baliktad eh. Mahal na mahal ko kahit hindi niya ako masyadong uh, mahal. Ko mahal. Kayo, ah, ma ah, mahal din. Ah, let's welcome Pastor Proy Medina. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Maraming salamat, Pastor. Uh, kung hindi ko mahal si Pastor, hindi ako pupunta sa napakainit na lugar na ito. Okay, but I'm here today 
And I really appreciate that. Sana kayo ay ready for the coming of the Lord. Amen? Uh, totoo yun, yung mga sinasabi. Kaya pagka, you know, wala nang mananampalataya, sabi ko doon sa Baguio, during rapture, kayong mga nandito, sa inyo na lahat. Okay. Huwag nyo ng pag Okay? Gusto nyo sa inyo na rin? Okay. But, uh, you know, today is the last night, and I thank you for being so committed to be here. Thank you for doing what you can to learn music instrument. And the right kind of music is very important. You know, a lot of times now, people are going to the wrong kind of music. And I praise God because we have a church like this who still believes in the right kind of music. And now, I'm not just talking about the words. I'm talking about the right kind of music. And music is very important in the life of a believer. Okay? Alam nyo ba na ang music that's used for worship in heaven. And si, si Satanas, bago siya naging Satanas, siya ang in charge ng music. Do you know that? That's why if he corrupts young people or people, he does it through music. I believe that. And, uh, you know, what you listen to is what you will become. Totoo yan. You listen to it? Tignan nyo. Why is it ang daming mga nadidepress ngayon? And the government keep putting up some classes like mental health issues everywhere. Okay? Alam nyo bakit? Marami talaga. You don't want to know why? Because the music they listen to. You know, it's a whole bunch of love songs and mahilig ang Pilipino sa drama. So, that's the way, that's why they go through it. And I have counseled many, many times people that are depressed. And if they just become obedient to what the Lord says, I promise you, you'll have victory over it. Amen? Okay, totoo yan. You know, you, you know, the government or schools can do whatever they want uh, about taking care of mental health issues. Lahat yan, temporary. Pero alam nyo, sa Panginoon, ano yan? Uh, when the Lord heals you from that, it would be right away. At hindi temporary. Mga kapatid. Okay? You know, alam nyo, si Satanas, ayaw niya ang tamang music. Right? You remember Saul, uh, no pressure ng evil spirit. And in order for that evil spirit to be gone, kailangan mag-play si David. Right? He has to play his heart. And aalis siya. Okay? Sa Kuldilyera, pagano kasi yan eh, lugar na yan. So there's a lot of people who was brought to us na nasapian, lahat yan. But you know, God can heal. Pero alam nyo kung ano yung panlaban namin dyan? Yung tamang music. The right kind of music. You know, they hate that. And uh, that's the way Satan corrupts you. And you think na baliwala yung hindi yung pagkinig sa mga ta- music na, na hindi para sa Diyos? You think it's nothing? I promise you, that's why we have more rebels today. You know, you go to every store, you go to every place, the music is blaring loud. And it's all about rebellious music. It's about uh, illicit immorality music. And ang dami, mga kapatid. Pati ang music, may X-rated din. Eh. I can hear them. When we go to 7-Eleven, uh, minsan sinasabi sa amin eh, uh, pag nagpunta ko 7-Eleven, ang lakas. Sasabihin ko doon nagbibenta, excuse me, diskuhan ho ba ito? <laughs> Halos di ako marinig. Okay, sabi ko, alam niyo ba kung anong sinasabi ng music ninyo? I don't want my child going in and listen to that kind of music. Pag ako sumasakay ng taxi, pinapa-off ko yung, ano, yung music. Alam nyo bakit? Dahil I don't want my head to be polluted 
And on top of that, I want to witness to the taxi driver and tell him about Jesus Christ. I cannot do it with that blaring, loud kind of music. Okay? Look, you see, sabi nila, yung young people ngayon, yung young people no, noon, you know, especially ngayon, napaka-iba. Well, tignan nyo rin yung music na pinapakinggan. Right? Okay? You know, young people, you can preach about a lot of things and they'll give it up. Start preaching about the wrong music, I promise you, they'll get mad at you. Right? At lalo na ngayon, madali lang kayo maglagay ng music dyan sa inyong, ano, sa inyong, uh, you know, mga cell phones and everything. Okay? And if you are not careful, it's going to hurt you. Asan si Caleb? Tsaka si Malakay? Ha? Oh, nandiyan ka? Ginagawa niyo dyan. Mainit. Okay? Hindi ko nakikita eh. At least, nandiyan kayo. Huwag niyo tutulugan, ha? Okay? So, anyway, mga kapatid, you know, nung araw, we would have a camp, di ba? And we would surrender our tape. Hindi niyo alam yung tape, ano? Yung tape, nilalagay. Tapos, play the play. Hindi niyo alam yun? CD, hindi niyo rin alam? Hindi rin nila alam. Lahat ngayon, nasa cellphone eh. Okay? Alam niyo kung gawin natin yung invitation na yun, o sino sa inyo lahat, willing kayo na masunog yung mga nandyan sa cellphone ninyo o yung cellphone ninyo sunugin. Palagay ko, wala magpa-forward yan. But you know what? A lot of you tonight, you have some dirty things in your cell phones. That's why your life turns... It, it, yan ang nangyayari. O, kita nyo? nag yung mukha ninyo. Kanina, naka-smile kayo. Tapos biglang the change happen. What's in your cell phone today? Ha? Huh? Naintindihan nyo ba? O, oh, kung ano-ano music pinapakinggan nyo dyan. Dito, tignan nyo dito, para feeling nyo, bas spiritual kayo. Eh, paano? Hindi nyo pinakinggan yung mga yan eh. But you know, when you go home, what are you gonna do? And it's so easy right now to be tempted to listen to those music that is not right. And it's going to hurt you. Young people, listen. It's going to hurt you. Okay? Kaya pati ako, maingat ako dyan, mga kapatid. All right? I love our music being played the right way. I don't want to go to a rock and roll kind of Christianity. I don't want to. Okay, if you do that in your church, well, that's up to you. But I won't do it in ours. You know, dahil daw pang inganyo sa mga bata. No, alam nyo, hindi naman tayo nag para sa mga young people. What we do is preach them the truth and tell them about the gospel because it is the truth that sets you free. Amen? So anyway, I thought I would say that. But I'd like to preach to you today is the message I wanted that I was thinking of preaching last night, you know, but then the Lord changed it. And I wanted to change it again because my theme pala dito, gabi-gabi. Right? There's unity, faith, kahapon, ngayon naman, commitment. But I'm going to preach on faith today. Okay? Because, makinig kayong maigi. Kambal yan eh, yung faith hindi nyo pwedeng paghiwalayin niya. And I just feel like this is exactly what the Lord wants me to speak tonight. And I hope, kabago kayo umuwi ngayon, is this the last message ngayon? I start this, the last preaching? Bago kayo umuwi, and I hope you'd put this in your heads. And then, ipamuhay ninyo. Okay? And you young people, I hope so. Uh, the hope of this nation, if the Lord doesn't come yet, is you. You are the hope of this nation. Godliness is the hope of this nation. Naintindihan niyo ba, mga kapatid? Okay? So, now you listen very carefully uh, tonight. Let's take our Bibles, please, in the book of Luke, chapter 17. Let's all stand. I'm going to give you t- the title now, okay, of the message. All right, just in case you want more faith. 
That's my title tonight. Just in case you want more faith. Let me read to you, okay, yung mga naunang verse, then I'll tell you where to read with me. Luke chapter 17 and verse number 1. Let's see what the Bible tells us here. Then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but our offenses will come, but woe unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and he cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. Together, let's read verse number 3 and verse number 4 and verse number 5 together. Take heed to yourselves, if thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him, and if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plaka by the root, and thou be planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Tayo man na lang, dakilang Diyos, maraming salamat sa pagkakataon na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa akin. I can only be here because of your grace. And thank you, dear Lord, for the faith that you had given me the moment that I trusted you to be the Savior. Thank you for giving me that faith. Thank you for the principles that you have taught us in the Bible, how our faith will be increased. Thank you so much, Lord, for Pastor Ross and his family and this church, of course. Thank you for their sacrifice hosting this kind of a conference. And uh, they ought to. They're the one who's supposed, they're the one, uh, the way their music is here, they're the most qualified one to teach uh, in a music camp uh, like this. So I pray now, ikaw pong kumilo sa amin, and Lord, I pray that everything that was learned ngayong uh, linggong ito uh, na maipamuhay po namin. And thank you for the young people that are here. Thank you for those that cook. Thank you for those that prepared. And thank you for those that provide. May you bless them continually, dear Lord. And others as they travel, perhaps some will be traveling tonight. Some will be traveling tomorrow. I pray that you would keep every one of us safe, dear Lord. And thank you for this day now. Help us to love you more. Holy Spirit, I recognize your presence today. And I beg of your help. I beg of your wisdom now. I cannot speak to people's heart, but you can. And I'm not asking you to help me preach a good sermon, but I am asking you to help me be a blessing tonight. I beg you, please. Help us. May you be glorified, be lifted up tonight. In Jesus' name, Amen. Kayo po'y magsiupo, mga Just in case you want more faith. Now you see the story here is, yung pinabasa ko sa inyo, sabi dito that if you're going to, kung yung kapatira natin, if you are going um if they're going to sin against you, forgive them. And if they're going to sin against you the same, in a day, forgive him again. Now listen carefully. Jesus had asked a hard thing of them. Sabi niya, if thy brother had trespassed against them, and they ask you forgiveness, forgive. Hey, that's understandable. Diba? Lahat yun eh. That's just basic Christianity. You know, that's just the very basic. Na pag may nagkasala sa'yo, tawarin mo. Diba? You know, that's basic. But now, listen carefully now, he goes into advanced course. He said, if he comes again and does the same thing at the same day he did it and asks for your forgiveness, forgive him again. And if he does it the third time, forgive him again. Now we're talking about the same day. And if he does it again the same day, the same kind, 
The fourth time, forgive him again. And the fifth time, forgive him again. And the sixth time, forgive him again. At yung pangpito, tawarin mo ulit. And that is hard thing to do. You know that? Paulit-ulit na lang. Okay? Pero nagpapasalamat tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, dahil kahit tayo paulit-ulit, the Lord always forgives us. Amen? You see, seven is God's number of completeness. What is he saying is, it does not matter how many times he sins against you. The same day, he said, forgive him. Kaya, mahirap. Diba? Yung una, madali. Right? Yung pangalawa, naku, medyo mahirap. Pinatawad mo, sasabihin mo pa nga, wag, okay lang, wag mong uulitin. Eh, inulit. Paulit-ulit. Mukhang mahirap to ah, mga kapatid. Okay? So, he said sa mga apostol, oh, patawarin niyo ulit. Men, sabi nila, mukhang mahirap to ah. We can't do it with what faith we have. So, sabi nila, Lord, increase our faith. Okay? Palakasin mo ang aming pananampalataya. But look what the, look, look at, look at, listen to this very carefully. And of course, he responded in verse number 6. You know what is he saying in verse number 6? Now, Jesus told them, okay, na kahit na ganyan lang ang inyong faith, patawarin niyo pa rin. Nakikinig po ba kayo? Now, listen carefully. Jesus said, do it anyway, even if you do not have enough faith, Go ahead and do it anyway. And they did. Okay? Now please follow this. Follow this carefully. When they did what he said to do, because he said to do it, even though they did not have the faith with which to do it, then he increased their faith in response to their doing. Naintindihan niyo ba? Mga kapatid? They did increase their doing in response. Okay, listen. He did not increase their faith. What happened is, they increased their doing, and in response to their faith, He increased their faith in response sa ginawa nila. Okay? Are you following me? All right? God did not say to you, if you will obey me, I'll give you the faith. Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, okay, listen now carefully. God did not say, if you will, hindi niya sinabi, I will give you faith. Are you still there? I'll give you faith, then you can obey me. What he said is, you obey me, then I'll give you that faith. Nakikinig ba kayo? Baligtad. Tayo. You can keep praying all you want so the Lord will increase your faith. But listen, if you're not committed to your obedience, God will not increase your faith. Okay? Boy, I love the Bible. Amen? And let me just say this. I really love this book right here. It's perfect. Everything you need, it's right here. Okay, you, I, I mean, in my, in, my, in my office, there's a lot of books. And I hardly finish all of them. But I love reading this book. It's full of principles over and over and over again. Okay? Andiyan pa kayo? Alright. God says, you obey me without enough faith, and then I'll raise your faith level to your obedience level. The obedience rises before the faith rises. Nakikinig po ba, mga kapatid? They got that much faith. So they have so much, but not enough faith to forgive seven times a day. So they said, Lord, increase our faith. Sabi ng Panginoon, listen, you go ahead and forgive Him anyway. You forgive Him to whatever faith level you have. Then when you had forgiven, you, when you were you, then you when you had for, forgiven up to that level, 
I will raise your faith up to that level. If you want to grow some more, then you will obey some more. Without that much faith, and I will raise your faith level that much more. Simply lang yan, mga kapatid. You see, they got that much faith after they obeyed without that much faith. God does not want you to obey because you have faith. God wants you to obey anyway. Amen? God wants you to do right because God says it, the Bible says it, Amen. do it anyway, and guess what God is going to do? He'll raise your faith. Amen. Alam nyo kung bakit hindi lumalago ang mga mananampalataya. Okay? Alam nyo bakit? Sabagkat disobedient ang marami. Right? I just talked to you about your music today. Do you know why yung faith mo hindi yan lalakas? Because you're not obedient na i-delete mo yung mga music na hindi dapat. Oh, Ay, hindi ko pa kaya. Nagbayad ako sa ano yun? Spotify, right? Pa, ano? Pa, Spotify, whatever. I don't, I don't have them. Spotify. Spotify. Whatever. Nagbayad ako, sayang. Are you with me? Masayang, mga kapatid kung yung pananampalataya mo ay hindi lumago. Eh bakit? Disobedient ka. Andiyan pa kayo? Ha? Kayong dalawa, andiyan pa? Okay. Don't worry, I pick on them. They're my boys. Pagagalitan ko yan, magtatampo, mamaya magpapabili. <laughs> okay. Now you see, andiyan pa kayo mga kapatid? Oh, ito ha, tingnan mo ha. Awit, yung awitin na ito. My Lord knows the way through the wilderness. I don't know the way. But all I have to do is follow. Hello? Strength for the day is mine all the way. And all I need for tomorrow. God does not give us the faith to do something. We do something and God give us the faith to continue doing that something. Okay? Ulitin ko. Okay, yung mga taga H, C, ano yun? CHBC sa camp, alam ko, preenage ko ito. Pero tulog kayo nun eh, kasi late na eh. Okay? <laughs> Pinag-preach ako, 10.30 na ata yun eh. Pagod na sila. But you listen here carefully. Let me repeat it again. God does not give us the faith to do something. We do something and God give us the faith to continue doing that something. Alright? Sim- let, me, let me put it as simple as dahil nasa camp, nasa music camp. Ay, instrument nyo na yan. You can keep praying and keep asking God to help you play that instrument and you never pick it up and try to play it. It will not work. Tama ba? Kaya nga dito, kahit yung mga bata, eh, sige, ganun lang ng ganun eh. Mamaya, lumalaki, nalalaman. Naintindihan nyo ba? Eh, by the way, that's how faith works. I'm serious about it. Okay? Amen? Oh, gising ba pa kayo? All right. Good. Now, listen here carefully. Let me give you some observation. Number one, God gives you something. Ang Panginoon, siya nagbibigay. Here, here we go. He gives you a task. To do that requires more faith than you have. Okay? Follow me carefully. You say, how can I face this thing? You face it because God said to face it. How can I do this thing? You do it because God says to do it. How can I bear the load? I have to bear. You bear it because God says to do it. God says, 
after I have seen you do it, then I will raise your faith level to your obedience level. Amen? Kahit mag by faith, by faith ka. And if you don't do what you're supposed to do first, that faith will never increase. Okay? You say, yung iba sabi, if I have more faith, I do more. No, you won't. You do more so you can get more faith. Okay? That's how your faith will increase. Pag tumigil ka, walang mangyayari. Okay? Ulitin ko ha. You do more so you can get more faith. Amen? Amen. Number three. God's gi- God gives you some faith. He gives you a task to do that requires more faith. Ito ang gagawin mo. Huwag hindi, hindi mo nagagawin. Do you understand that God always give us a task more than your faith can handle? Hindi mo napupuna. Nag-pray ka, Lord, increase our faith, then something happened to you? Because that's an answer to your prayer. Right? Pray ka ng pray, Lord, increase my faith. Then something happens to you. So now, either you're committed to do what you're supposed to do, or may commitment ka. Whatever your commitment dito sa pagbibigay. Okay? Tapos biglang may nangyari. That's why it's called commitment. Right? Ah, dahil ang commitment, mga kapatid, you give it, lalo na kung hirap ka na. Kasi committed ka nga eh. Commitment will never become commitment until it really hurts you. Right? On fire ka kagabi. Kinausap mo pa yung pastor mo. Diba? pag mo, ayan na. Pati yung school, binabawi mo. That's why your faith doesn't increase. Eh, hindi ko kaya yung peer pressure. You know, just keep obeying God and you will see how God is going to raise your faith level. Hmm. I hope you're listening carefully. I mean, I'm not going to be bombastic like I did yesterday. So you just have to wake up your own selves tonight. Amen? All right. Now listen to, me, to, to this carefully. God gives you a measure of faith then God comes along to test your devotion to Him. And this is what, and then He says, this is what I want you to do. Now you do it with whatever faith you have, and you do it because you're supposed to do it, then God will give you more faith. The continuation, the, the continuation of a certain thing God gives you the faith by you doing what you are supposed to do. Okay? God always responds to more faith to our obedience. Nakuha niyo ba? Ang Panginoon, nagre-respond yan para bigyan tayo ng bas malakas na faith kung tayo ay obedient sa Kanya. Did you hear me? How's your obedient level? I promise you, God is going to give you a task and you'll be tested of all of your commitment. Pero sabihin ko sa inyo, mga kabatid, when you get to that point and you say, Panginoon, di ko ito kaya. Ilang beses ko sinabi yan. Hindi ko kaya ito, Panginoon. Pero dahil sinabi mo, gagawin ko. And guess what? God had increased our faith. 
And He always gives us victory. Eh, bakit? Obedient ka Okay? Andiyan pa ba kayo? You can now maintain a higher level by faith. He gives you, but the reaching of that higher level is up to you. Did you hear me? Now listen. You can maintain a higher level by the faith He gives you, but the reaching of that higher level is up to you. God says, if you love me, ano sabi niya? You will keep my what? Commandments. You will do my work. You will do my will. God comes along and says, this is what I want you to do. You say, I don't have enough faith to do it. So what are you going to do? You do, it any, you do it anyway, then God will give you more faith in response to your obedience. See? Alam nyo yung mga tao that people cannot believe it can be done, but they do it anyway. Pag lumalabas yan, they're like, wow. Amen? Let me ask you a question. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Diba? You know the story, right? Oh, basahin niyo maigi. Ano yung una? Sabi niyo nila sa hari, hari, di kami luluhod dyan. Right? O, tignan niyo, ha? Mali ito eh. Nalil kami luluhod sa ribulto mo. Ililigkas kami ng Diyos. Right? Pero hindi kami luluhod. Pero mali yan. Kahit kung kami man ay hindi iligtas ng Diyos. Hindi pa rin kami luluhod. Nakuha niyo? Sabi niya nung una, ililigtas kami. Tapos pangalawa, sabi niya, kahit hindi kami iligtas, hindi pa rin kami luluhod. Hey, God never tells, tells us that He will not allow us to go through, to go inside the fiery furnace. But He did promise He will never leave us nor forsake us. So now, in the fiery furnace, you know what happened you know, nandun ang Panginoong Jesus. Amen? Paglabas nila sa fiery furnace, sa palagay nyo ba, hindi bas malakas ang pananampalataya nila? Oh, ganun pala eh. Pero alam nyo yung sabi nila, ililigtas man kami o hindi, hindi kami luluhod dyan dahil magiging obedient kami sa Diyos. Oh, paglabas nila, what a faith Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego have. Same thing with Daniel. Right? <laughs> Alam ba ni Daniel na ililigtas siya ng Panginoon sa, uh, sa mga leon? Hindi naman niya alam yun eh. Pero gumawa pa rin siya ng tama. Paglabas niya, and the Lord did not allow him to be eaten with a bunch of hungry lions. Napakatagal ng fasting nila. Alam ko pinag-fasting pa yung mga leon na yan para pagka tapon kay Daniel, naku, kakainin siya, hindi siya kinain. ba? Niisip ko tuloy. You know, an obedient Bible Baptist believer, kahit ang leon, hindi niya yan kayang kainin. Hindi, I'm, I'm sorry. Hindi kaya ng leon kainin ang Bible Baptist. You understand? He said, I'm not going to compromise. I'm still going to pray three times a day kahit bawal. And guess what? I'm still going to open my window. Did you even notice? He always prayed with his window open. He looks to the north because that's where Jerusalem is. And he prays for that three ta- for, for his place three times a day. Pwede naman niyang isara, di ba? Pero alam nyo, walang makita ang accusation kay ano eh, Daniel eh, yun lang eh. Alam nung mga luko-luko na gumawa ng decree na yun na ito, hindi magkakamali. Si Daniel, hindi yan compromiser kahit na anong gawin. Sigurado ko gagawin yan ni Daniel. I hope when we go back to our school, we go back to our work tomorrow, I just hope and pray that your classmates and your co-worker knows that there is a Bible believer there that will always stand for what is right and become obedient to God. Oh, hindi niya alam. I mean, hindi siya nakipag-compromise. Oh, sige, nanalangin pa rin siya. Pero hindi niya alam kung ililigtas siya. O oh, ngayon, paglabas niya doon, 
ayaw kainin ng leon. Bira, yung mga gumawa nga ng decree na yun eh. Di ba? Sila yung nailagay. Bago pa sila bumaba sa sobrang, gu- sobrang gutom nila. <laughs> ewan, ko, ewan ko kung baptist yun, yung leon. Sobrang gutom nila. Bago pa bumagsak yung mga yun. Naubos. So what the Bible said, Ubus sila. Now think about the faith of Daniel. Right? Basahin nyo maigi yung Bible. Bago nangyara yun, sigurado ko, kabado rin si Daniel. But he was still obedient. Because to him, it is important to obey the Almighty God. You see? When you don't know what to do, Yet you do it anyway, as you go along, God raises your faith level to your obedience level. Then you can continue doing that same thing that you see what God has done. Right? Tignan nyo, si Esther. Ano yung sabi niya? If I perish, I perish. E niligtas siya ng Panginoon. Imagine mo paglabas niya. That faith level she has. Amen? When you don't know what to do, listen, you do it anyway. God blesses you with more faith. Okay? Minsan kasi lagi natin tinitignan eh, yung pagiging obedient natin, mga material na bagay. Oh, you become obedient and God increase your faith. And by the way, in this life right now, habang nandito tayo, you can never please God without faith. The Bible said so. It is impossible to please God without faith. Every man should walk by faith and not by sight. Do you see that? Ha? Huh? Hindi yung sigurado ka. Right? Na bakit maraming nag-quit-quit? Paano? Gusto yung nakikita eh. No, you just become obedient. Obedient ka lang. You just keep obeying and obeying and obeying and see what God is going to do. Okay? You do what God says for you to do with that little faith you have, then God gives you the faith to fill up your obedience. Then you can continue on that level by faith because you see what God did in response to your obedience that got you to that level. You can say, dear God, give me the faith and I'll be a soul winner. No, sir. You go soul winning and God will increase your faith. And pa ba kayo? And by the way, soul winning is a lifestyle. It's not a schedule. And wherever you go, you should go out and win souls. Every opportunity you have. Amen? When you stop somewhere while you're traveling, you say, Pastor, di ko naman sila madadala sa church. That's not our duty. That's God's duty. Of course, in our area, we do whatever we can to do a follow-up, right? Andiyan pa ba kayo? But everywhere, that's, that's the beauty about soul winning. You know, soul winning, you don't have to do it by schedule. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter kung, it doesn't matter kung anong oras, mga kapatid. Anytime you can go soul winning. Hindi kailangan maging matalino ka para maging soul winner. Hindi kailangan, mga kapatid, na ikaw ay, you know, merong position to be a soul winner. Just be a soul winner. Amen? Amen. Well, I hope you're listening tonight. Ano kinig kayo maigi? Just keep being obedient. Just obey and win souls wherever you go. Alam nyo, one time, actually just recently, but this happened almost a year ago now. I witnessed to somebody. He is an international lawyer. He is both practicing lawyer in America and he's also a practicing lawyer here. Okay? We need Nisan Koyon. Pero ito yan. Yung lawyer na yon, kaaway niya ako. Nandiyan pa kayo? I was put in a stand. Dami niyan mga tinanong. 
In fact, bago pa yun, binigyan ko siya ng tracks. Tapos nakita ko, yung turn na namin, you know, was going to tell what I know. Anyway, binigyan ko siya ng tracks. Ang ginawa niya, tinapon sa floor, sa court, sa court. Pinulot ko. Okay? Eh, may mga lamesa doon. Bako nagpunta sa lamesa, nag-uusap na sila eh, tinawag ako, binigay ko ulit yung tracks. Are you listening? Pagkatapos ng lahat, di tapos na kami. Binigyan ko ulit ng tracks, sumabay ako sa kanya. Sabi kong kanya, never mind about the case. I don't want to talk to you about the case. I want to talk to you about your condition. Tumingin siya. Tapos nag-open siya, dami niya palang problema. May problema din pala ang mga lawyer, ano? Okay? Ay, sadali ka. Let's go to the foam coffee. At tayo mag-uusap. Usap kami, nagsabi siya ng problema niya, problema niya. And then, when given the time that it's my turn to talk, I begin to witness to him, mga kapatid. And he trusted the Lord as his Savior, by the way. He actually resigned from that case. Hindi ko lang sinabi, kasi ngayon ko lang sinasabi yan. You say, Pastor, paano mo na-witnessan yan? I wish I have that kind of faith to witness to someone like that, especially yung kaaway mo. Alam nyo paano nagsimula? Yung unang makita mo sa kalye, witnessan mo. Hello? Amen? Magsusol winning ka dyan, huwag mong lampasan. Yung una, witnessan mo kaagad. Di ba? Nakikinig ba kayo? Okay? That's what you're supposed to do. And guess what's gonna happen? Because you keep doing it, doing it, doing it, then God will give you more opportunities. Bless God. Boy, I love that. Makinig maigi. Romans 10, 17. Here's what it says. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the what? Alam mo kung bakit? The Bible tells you what to do. Because the Word of God tells you what to do. Amen? So when you hear the Word of God and you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do and you become obedient to what the Word of God tells us, guess what? Then your faith increases. Oh, ano yung sabi ng Bible? James 1.22 But be ye doers of the Word and not what? Ano? Hearers only deceiving your what? Own selves. You see that? Be doers of the word. Okay? Andiyan pa kayo. Now listen carefully now. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein, ano? Day and night. Right? That thou mayest what? Ano? Observe to do all that is what? Written therein. Then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success. You see that? You do it. Amen? Okay? Makinig kayo maigi. Ano yung awitin? Sabi niya, Darkness around me, sorrow surrounds me. Though there be trials, still I can sing. For I have this treasure, my God reigns within me. I am determined, here we go, to live for the King. Amen? Well, I hope you're getting this tonight. Ano pa yung isang awitin? I'm pressing on the upward way. So if you press on the upward way, guess what's happening? New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound, then Lord plant my feet on higher ground. That's the faith level on the higher ground. You want to know how you raise the faith level that higher ground is you learn, bless God, to keep obeying God. Even you don't know what to do, you do it anyway because God tells you to do it. Amen. 
then he will increase your faith. Your faith raises up to your obedience level. And that's what this world needs. This world needs a whole bunch of believers not to act cute. God needs believers. Okay? And this world needs believers na makita sa atin na tayo ay obedient sa Diyos. That's what this world needs. Listen here carefully. Faith sustains you which work raises you. Did you hear me? Ano yung sabi niyan? Ito, tignan mo, ha? So may nagtanong sa akin, Pastor, paano ko itigil? Ipag-pray nyo nga ako na matigil ang pagsisinungaling ko. Simple lang yan. Paano ka? Paano mo maitigil yung pagsisinungaling mo? Adi magsabi ka ng totoo. If you're a habitual liar, then start being a habitual truth teller. Punta ka ka ng punta dito. Luluod ka pa. Panginoon, si pastor nag-preach patungkol sa pagiging marites. Tulungan niyo po. Hipuin niyo po ang aking mga bibig. Yun na parang ang charismatic dyan. Hipuin ang bibig para hindi maging kismosa. Alam mo, para matanggal yung pagchichismosa mo, di huwag ka na magchismis. Magpuri ka na lang sa Panginoon. Amen? Faith does not come before obedience. Faith comes after obedience. The more obedient, the more faith. Each step of growth is caused by obedience that go beyond the faith, the, the faith the, that goes beyond the faith possessed. God give your faith to match what you have done. So you do more than your faith will allow. You keep your faith, I'm sorry, you keep your works ahead of your faith. Then your faith grows. Okay? Tapos doon mo makikita paano nag-grow yung faith mo. Now listen carefully. Aside from salvation, do you understand that you have to earn faith? You earn it by your obedience. Obedience. Ito. Obedience is the seed. Faith is the crop. Nakuha niyo ba? Obedience, yan yung buto. Yung faith, yan yung bunga. Naintindihan niyo, mga kapatid? You can keep praying and praying and praying. Lord, increase my faith. Tapos sabi ni Pastor, O sige, so winning tayo Sabado, ha? Mag-practice kayo sa violin, ha? Ay, hindi, may gagawin ako. B.C. Guess what? That faith will never increase. It's just simple. Amen? Okay? Now listen carefully. You, you listen carefully. You plant no seed of obedience, you get no fruit of faith. Okay? You do something because God says you do it, and you real, you realize God says you through it, and, and you realize that God says sees you through it. That gives you faith to do that level because you see what God has done. Naintindihan niyo? Okay, tingnan niyo. Why do you think Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and Daniel were able to take a stand in their older life? Because in Daniel chapter 1, verse 8, they already took a stand. They did not eat the king's meat. Simple lang yun eh. Naintindihan niyo ba? So now they're there. Ibang klase na naman yun. Yung meat na hindi kakainin, okay lang yan. Pero nung araw, medyo kabado rin sila. Kaba, kinakabahan nga yung ano eh. Kinakabahan nga yung ano, yung magpapakain eh. 
Naku, baka mamaya hindi makita sa amin na maayos kami. Na maay- baka sabihin, pinabayaan. But you know what? God made them ten times better. Now they saw that. Right? Tapos, bas mahirap na naman. Do they have enough faith to be obedient? Basahin yung maigi. They did not have that faith. Kaya nga nagduda pa sila eh. Ano yun? Hindi kami luluhod dahil ililigtas kami ng Diyos. Pero kahit hindi kami ililigtas, hindi pa rin kami luluhod. Amen? Now listen carefully now. Here's some steps. Una, there's some faith. And then obedience is next. Then God gives more grace. Then He gives courage. Then He gives victory. Then He gives more faith. Then you maintain that level for a while. Okay? So, tignan nyo, ha? So, sabi ng Bible, yung text natin kanina, ganito. Now, listen carefully. Oh, may nagkasala sa'yo. Oh, sinipa ka. Diba? Right? You're preparing his meal. Eh, sinipa ka. Ikaw na nga naglilingkod para sa kanya. Ay, sorry. O, wag mo na ulitin ulit. Sinipa ka ulit. Andiya pa ba kayo? Nakik- Kailan balik ka dito? Oh. Let me illustrate. Malaka, hili ka dito. This will be your chance para gumanti ka kay Caleb. Bilisan mo. Okay? Halika. Bilis. Halika dito, malakay. Okay? Bilisan mo. Oh. Ginagawan mo siya ng mabuti. Di ba? Right? Eh, sinipa ka. Sipahin mo. Bilis. Sige na, pasipa ka. Oh, sipahin. Kick his butt. Go like this. Okay, go. Hurry up. Go it. Sinipa. Ang tendency natin, gaganti. Di ba? Hindi na. Mag-sorry ka na lang. Sorry ka. Oh, pinatawan. Put that hand down. Oh, sige, anong sasabihin? Huwag uulitin. Right? Eh, habang may ginagawa ka ulit. Lalo na kung para sa kanya. Hello? Okay? Sini, paka ulit. Sipahin mo. Sige na. Mm. Anong gagawin mo? Gagante? Hindi. Humingi ng tawad. Pinatawad ulit. Nako! Hello! O oh, sige, tulungan mo ulit. Tulungan. Bigla mo sinipa. Ayun! Maraming ganyan ginagawa natin, mga pastor. Pero huwag ka magsawa. Nag-pray ka eh. Panginoon, bigyan mo nga ako ng faith. That's why it happens to us. but you keep forgiving anyway. Go ahead. Thank you. Just have a seat right there where I can see you. Okay? Now, tignan nyo ito maigi, ha? Okay? Now, listen here. Listen to this one very carefully. But it, that, it did not stop there. Meron pang level up nun. Ano yun? Sabi ng Bible. Okay, now. You want more faith? Are you ready for this? Forgive your enemies. Kanina, if thy brother trespass against thee, forgive him. If he trespass against thee seven times, forgive him and forgive him and forgive him. Right? Sabi ng disciple, Lord, increase our faith. Ayon, okay. So, nandyan na sila. Dahil obedient. Ngayon, nandito na. Forgive your enemy. 
Do good to your enemy. If they're hungry, feed them. Say, Pastor, yung tao na galit sa akin, na gusto kong mamatay, dapat patawarin ko. Sabi ng Bible eh. Okay na sana, Pastor, yung brother eh. Kahit seven times. Pero yung gustong pumatay sa akin, patatawarin ko. Yung gusto kong bumagsak, patatawarin ko. Tapos hindi lang yun, papakainin ko pa pag nagutom. Hello? Ililibre ko pa. Amen? You say, Pastor, matindi na yan. Now listen, as, as a preacher, as a pastor, you're used to keep helping people and they backstab you, you forgive them again. Right? Ito. Eh, nakita ko yung gum- gumawa sa akin ng hindi napakaganda. Hindi ko na ikikwento kung ano yung ginawa. Pero hindi maganda. Nakita ko sa restaurant na paborito ko. Sa Oh My Can, doon sa Baguio. I go there all the time. At least once a week. Nga nakita ko. Masor. Nung nakita ko, ang gusto kong gawin, bugbugin. Di ba? Pero iba ang gusto ng Panginoon. Pinaalala pa naman sa akin yung verse na yun, if your enemy be hungry, feed them. If he's if thirsty, give him water to drink. Di ba? Okay, ito. Makinig yung mige. So, ang gagawin ko? Wala akong faith na ganito. But God tells me to do it. So I did it anyway. Hindi nila alam, pero ako nagbayad ng bill nila. Yung bill namin, tatlong libo. Yung bill nila, anim na libo. Bira na 9,000 pa ako yung araw na yon. Pero alam nyo, ang hindi mabibili ng pera, paglabas ko doon, that joy that comes inside that heart and that smile and say, Oh, glory to God! Ganito pala ang pakiramdam ng walang galit sa puso. Ganito pala ang pakiramdam na ikaw ay nagpakain sa kaaway mo. Ganito pala ang pakiramdam na ikaw ay pinainom mo yung kaaway mo. Yeah, maganda na tumulong sa kapwa. Maganda na tulungan yung mga kapatiran. Maganda tumulong sa pamilya. Subukan mo na pakainin yung mga tao na gusto kang mamatay. Tubukan mo na pakainin yung mga tao na gusto kang saksakin sa likod. And they backstab you. And I'm telling you, that faith goes higher. Pero hindi tumigil doon, Pastor. Meron pa yan. Ha? Naintindihan nyo ba? Oh, ganito yan. Oh, sige, nagawa mo na yun, di ba? Okay na. Saya mo na. Ang tindi na nung pananampalataya mo. Okay. Sabi, bago ka magbigay, at ma- pumunta ka sa altar, ibigay mo yung offer- iwanan mo yung offering mo dyan. Pero ito gagawin mo. Kahit di nag-sorry sa'yo, ikaw ang lumapit dun sa kaaway mo. Nasa Bible yan. And you make amends. Right? Eh, nagawa ko yun dun sa isa. Eh, yung isa na medyo bas close sa akin. Na, rumaydor. Sabi ko, Panginoon, ang gagawin ko dito? Hindi ko yata kaya. Punta kami dun sa leadership conference. 2018. Sabi sa akin, siya yung head usher dun. You will never miss him. Laki nun eh. Sabi kong ganyan, Sige nga, Panginoon, hindi ko alam gagawin ko dito pag nagkita kami. Baka magkagulo. 
May mga kasama ko, mga men. Tapos, natapos yung conference, tumawag sa akin yung isang men namin. Store, nandito siya. Dito na lang kami, paliligiran namin para hindi makaalis. Kala mo, confrontation eh, no? Pagdating ko doon, di ba, may mataas yun, di ba? Kung kayo nakapunta doon sa SMX, tumitingin na ganyan. Tapos yung isa, pastor nandun. Alam mo, sabi sa akin, syempre, binati ko muna yung isang pastor. Sabi sa akin, alam niya eh. Kung ano, sabi ko, opo. Sabi ko ganyan, Hey, man! Siyempre, nagulat. Tumingin. Sama ko yung dalang boys. Tapos tumingin siya, ang daming mga men namin na naka surround. Pumunta yung mga men niya, pero mga senior. Eh, yung mga men namin, mga igurot na lalaki ng katawan. <laughs> Tawa na. Here it is. Okay? I did not come here to do anything. I just came here to let you know I don't have anything against you. And shook his hand. Never said sorry. At pag kinento ko sa inyo ang, ang ginawa sa akin, matindi. You know, nung nagpupunta ako sa inyo, that was the very beginning of it. And it was so difficult. I could not know. You know, I just go there and just preach to you anyway because I'm supposed to be obedient. Ini-invite nyo pa nga ako doon eh. Nag-preach pa nga ako doon noon, Jesus wept. And it's all about faith. But it was difficult. Kaya naalala nyo sa court, sa basketball court. But that was my hardest time. If I tell you everything what they have done, baka sabihin nyo may karapatan si pastor talaga magalit at mag-armalite. But I had to just stick my hand like this. I gave it to him. I said, no. And then I gave him a hug. Hindi nga lang full hug. Eh paano? Ang laki. Halos 400 pounds. Pag ganito ko, <laughs> andun pa yung mga boys ko. Uy, mga bata pa to nung araw, liliit. And I told them, my boys are here now. I just want you to know, I have nothing against you. Hanggang ngayon, hindi pa sila nagsasorry. But guess what? Do you want to know why we have that preacher's delight? Anong ma-o-offer ko sa mga pastor? Wala naman eh. Is our church a perfect church? Hindi. Is our church big? Auditorium lang. But you want to know what it is? You know why God had blessed that so much? And God always provide? Because the faith level is right here. Naintindihan niyo ba, mga kapatid? Amen. Ngayon, makinig kayo maigi. Alam ko ngayon, kayong mga young people, ngayon, hindi niyo nahalala yung hinanakit ninyo. Kasi malayo kayo sa lugar ninyo. Eh. Pero alam niyo, yung mga commitment ninyo kahapon, hindi niyo yan matutupad if you do not learn to forgive. Pastor, paano mawawala yung bitterness ko? Patawad ka. If I ask you right now, na ipikit yung mata mo, if something right now, na kailangan-kailangan mo ng answered prayer, and you're willing to do whatever you want to do, whatever, I mean, you're willing to give up whatever you, you can give up, and then you close your eyes, and a face comes to you. You need to learn to forgive. Amen? Amen? That's how your faith increases. Nakuha niyo, mga kapatid? Totoo yan, that everything we do in Baguio is by faith. You know that every year I would like to cancel young preacher's delight because I have no money. But I never make a decision based on money. Make a decision based on what God wants you to do. And God 
provides it anyway. Our expenses keep getting higher and higher. Lalo na yung preacher's delight na ito. Lumampas kami sa budget dahil ang daming pinakain. You know, our auditorium is not done because we keep having a conference. Because that's what God wants us to do. But listen to me carefully. We have seen how God provides. Bakit? Because we kept going. Even though wala kayong faith namin, hindi nandito. So we become obedient, then God increase our faith. God says something for us to do again. We, we do it again. And we do it again. You know, when I made a commitment to the Lord in 2009, that I will give at least one million Bibles sana dito sa Pilipinas. Do you know that's not easy to do? That's very hard to do. That is very expensive. Mga kapatid, you have no idea. You know, ang isang Bible nun, mga kapatid, will cost you about one dollar. Yung isa na naiprint sa maramihan. That's one million dollars just on printing. When you ship, you when you ship a Bible here, it costs the one container would cost us to pay the American side seven thousand five hundred dollars. Pagdating pa dito, may fee na naman. Tax free nga, pero may fee pa rin. Ang daming mga fee na kailangan bayaran. Tapos, papunta pa sa Baguio yung truck. Diyan pa ba kayo, mga kapatid? How is it happening? It's happening because you become obedient. Oh. Ngayon, tanong ko sa inyo, kayo mga nandito, do you want to know why all of your commitment will not come to pass? Because you have not learned to be forgiving. And the way you learn to be forgiving is forgive. Are you with me? Nasasa inyo yan, mga kapatid. That's up to you tonight. You want your faith to increase? You want to fulfill your commitment to the Lord, alam mong gawin mo, become obedient now. Right? And do know, seven times, patawarin. Then you have to go level up. Forgive your enemy. Okay na lang sana yung forgive your enemy and feed them eh. Pero ikaw pa, You're the one who will make amends? Hey, you want to know how you destroy your enemy? You make them your friends. Sabi ni Abraham Lincoln. Are you with me? That's up to you tonight. Lahat ng natutunan nyo dito will not come to pass if you do not learn to be obedient. I know I did not become babastic today. I know I did not make you laugh like I did yesterday. Pero makinig kayo maigi. It's very important. Whatever it's in there right now, kailangan mo nang magpatawad. And the test of that is, magkikita kayo niyan. At yung reaction mo, doon mo yan, may papakita ang obedient mo sa Diyos. I told the Lord in 2015, Lord, I'm not going back to the Philippines if my bitterness will not be gone. God took my bitterness in August of 2015. I came back to the Philippines right after that. Shortly after that, dun ko nakita yung sinabi kong pinakain ko sa Oh My Can. Are you still there? 
up to you tonight. I can go on all night to tell you all the miracles that God has done. And every pastor here can tell you the same. Pero sabihin ko sa inyo, that faith level only rises up to your obedient level. And tignan nyo ang ginamit ng Panginoon so your faith will increase. It's about forgiveness. See? O sino hindi mo mapatawad ngayon? Sige nga. I'm not saying you become best friends to them. But I'm saying is you go up to the level and you will see what God will do to you. Let's all stand. Head of our eyes are closed, please. Pakipikit ang yung mga mata, uluway na kayo ko. I'll wait till pastor comes here if he, if he is going to come. But while I'm doing that, tignan nyo ha, you want your faith to increase? It's all start by you learning to forgive. It has to start by you letting that bitterness and anger in your heart. Everything na natutunan nyo dito, dahil nandito kayo ngayon, talagang nandyan yung commitment ninyo, <clears throat> but that commitment will be tested once you get home. Let me ask you this. Is there something in your heart right now that you need to lay it on the altar? And when that commitment is tested, are you willing to be obedient? Are you willing to forgive? So habang yung mga matay naka Kituloy na kayo ko. And you say, Pastor, right now, I'm going to be willing. I'm going to be willing to be forgiving. And I'm going to start by forgiving today. And listen, that will come to test. You will see that person. Or you will hear about that person. Alam nyo, dami nyong natutunan dito ngayon. And sana ma-practice natin yan. But that happens kung walang galit yan sa puso. I promise you, you'll come to this altar, iiyak ka pa. Pero kailangan mong i-practice yan pag uwi mo. I hope you listen very carefully. While the piano is playing, would you come to the altar? Meron sa inyo dito, just be very honest. Uh, you see? Uh, you see? Would you come to the altar? I don't know your heart, but God knows your heart. You come lay it down on the altar tonight. Lumapit ka dito and you say, Lord, please forgive me for not forgiving this person. And tell him your, tell, tell the Lord the name. you'll see how God's going to bring more victory in your life. You go right ahead and shed that tears. You just come. Come as far as you can to the altar tonight. Somehow, as I've been said, had offended you, forgive them. If you have offended anyone, and you know it, you are aware of it, ask forgiveness. There will be no trouble for the Christian if we will just have that forgiving heart in us. 
walang trouble sa buhay natin. Kung matututo lang tayo na mag-increase ang ating pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng ating obedience sa kaman sa atin ng Panginoon. And the most of that is to have the forgiving heart. It is so hard to forgive. Much more to forget. But the hardest that we can do actually is the one that gives us the most of our strength. Praise God tonight. Pour it up to the Lord. Pour it to God. Everything. And go home with that blessed heart. Go home tonight with that blessed heart. Having our mind full with blessing. Learning, knowing and learning what are those that we have to obey. As I've been said by the preacher, you may said, increase my faith but without obedience. What you know will not serve any. So kung sinasabi natin, Lord, increase my faith, ang ibig kong sabihin yan, gagawin ko po ang lahat ng aking matutunan, malalaman sa inyo. Repent now. Huwag natin ipaglaban yung mali sa ating buhay. Huwag tayo manindigan sa mali. Manindigan ka sa sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos. Huwag natin pilitin na itama yung mali. Kahit popular yan at maraming tao ang naniniwala. Pero pag alam mong mali sa salita ng Diyos at hindi tama sa salita ng Diyos, huwag mong ipagpilit. Sundin mo ang salita ng Diyos sikit sa lahat. Increasing our faith it is obeying the Word of God. When we talk about increasing our faith, we talk about obeying the words of God. Disobedience to the Word of God is disobedience to God. So the preachers was all right and that preaching preach is straight. Diretso yung preaching sa atin. Diretso din natin dapat ang ating aksyon ng pagsunod. Kung may nalalabi sa inyo sa buhay nyo na kailangan kayong iluhod, iluhod nyo sa Panginoon. Amen. Napulong tayo ngayong gabi. Kahapon, katong isang araw na buong pagpapala, iyon ang baon natin sa ating buhay. No retreat, no surrender, being forward always. Every learning we have become part of our growth. Continue to grow because when a person is no longer growing, he is starting dying. Father God, thank you so much tonight. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the preachers, the learnings that you had given to all of us. Oh Lord, may all of these learnings, Lord, as we commit our life and commit, Lord, our future to you, Lord, may it redound to obedience so that we'll continue to grow. Thank you for the pastors that you had made us together to move and to cause all our people, all your people, oh God, to move according to thy word. May you use it continually. Even, oh God, those who had committed already their lives to serve you, oh God, always remind us that our life no longer belongs to us. Rather, it already belongs to you. Keep us, Lord, moving. Moving towards obedience. 
moving towards keeping thy word. Moving towards fearing you in you alone. Thank you tonight. Bless those that are on their knees. And bless those who had accepted thy word, those who had accepted you tonight. Bless their lives, even their family. As we have learned, Lord, through this camp, we pray the Lord that you will allow us, O oh God, to bring it to our respective homes, respective families, and respective churches. Make us a blessing in our very own community. Thank you tonight. Bless those, again, Lord, bless those that are on their knees. We thank you so much for all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you glad tonight? Were you blessed? Pastor? Wow. Wow, what a report. Wala nang pinakamasaya sa buhay ng aking, ng aking, sa akin. Wala nang pinakamasaya sa buhay ng mga pastor. Kung di ang malaman, mabalitaan, makita na mayroong tumatanggap sa Panginoon. May tell you a good news tonight. Our very own city administrator na ipinapanalangin ko na makasama ko sa langit ay makakasama ko sa langit. He just accepted the Lord tonight. I'm praying for all. Hindi tayo namimili. But preferred din natin na yung mga taong nakikilala natin, nasa paligid natin, ay tumanggap sa Panginoon. Because that's the only way kung paano natin masasabi na may blessing tayo. Hindi ko kayang bigyan ng pera yan. Mas mapera sa akin yan. Hindi natin maaaring i-bribe yan o makuha sa pamamagitan ng pera. Pero ibinigay natin sa kanya ngayong gabi ginamit tayo ng Panginoon na yung pinakamahalaga sa buhay ng tao, ang kaligtasan, ang pagtanggap sa Panginoong Kristo, ang siya nating ipinag-share sa Kanya ngayong gabi. Congratulations above everything that we can have, above everything that a person may have in their lives. Walang iba niyan kung di ang kaligtasan. Hindi kayang bayaran ng pera, hindi kayang trabahuhin ng sarili. Iyan ay ginawa ng Panginoon para sa atin. Kaya ang tawag doon, grace, biyaya. Hindi natin pinagtrabahuan yun. Amen? So lahat ng tumanggap sa Panginoon, congratulations. We will be seeing each other in heaven at the place of God. Pero ang pinakamaganda doon, susunduin pa tayo ng Panginoon. Pupunta siya rito para sunduin tayo. Amen? Babalik siya. Sabi niya, eh, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. Two thousand years ago, the Lord Jesus Christ resurrected and ascended to heaven. For what purpose? To provide a mansion for each one of us. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. So Christ the Lord is going to come again. And His coming is nearing. I will come again to receive you unto myself. So that where I am, there ye may be also. Amen? And I'm telling you, sabi ng Panginoon sa Kristo, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Ang tinanggap natin ay Panginoong Iso Kristo who is the way, who is the truth, and who is the life. So siya ang tanging daan at siya ang mayroon tayo. Amen? At inasyon niya tayo na babalik siya at sa kanyang pagbabalik, kukunin niya tayo. Sinusundo tayo at susunduin tayo ng Panginoon. Amen? 
Kung mauna man ang ating kamatayan kaysa pagdating ng Panginoon, tuloy-tuloy na rin tayo doon sa Kanya. Amen? So we have given the best. All our pastors, all the workers, all of you who had committed to the Lord. Sino mga nag-commit sa Panginoon kagabi? Will you say Amen? amen. You will go back telling your pastor and telling all the people, even your parents, I have already committed my life to God and I'm going to obey what I have committed to Him. Amen? No turning back. No turning back. All to Jesus, I surrender. I surrender all to Him. And the sweetest among all surrender is surrender to Jesus. When I surrendered my life to the Lord Jesus Christ in 1984, I did become a Christian August 28, 1981. August 28, 1981. Nakipag-resale pa ako eh. Kasi sayang naman profession ko. But in 1984, I told God, sabi ko sa Panginoon, Lord, here is my life, it's yours. And that is no turning back. No turning back. Amen? No turning back. No turning back. Until now, ang buhay ng pastor ng Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church ay pag-aari ng Panginoon. At lahat ng gagawin ay dapat nakakaluwalhati sa Kanya. Pumasok man sa business, pumasok man sa ano pa man, even in politics, hey, stay where you are. You are a Christian, stay there. Stand firm without compromise. Amen? Stand firm without compromise. Ang ating city administrator ay kilala ko uh, sa ma maiksing panahon, pero ang kanyang asawa ay matagal akong kasama ko sila sa office. Ang kanyang mother-in-law at kilalang kilala ho tayo. We do not compromise. Amen? Pero kahit hindi tayo nagko-compromise, we stand on that, huwag din tayo makikiaway. Amen? Hello? Kahit makakita ka ng mali, huwag mong awayin. Instead, you pray. Instead, you pray. Nagkamali sa'yo, ikaw na mismo ang gustong patayin, ano nga dapat gawin? Forgive. How many times? Seventy times seven. Ilan yan? Huh? Four hundred ninety times. In how many days? In one day. Ngayon, kung ikaw ay nakakapata, nakakapagpatawad pa lang ng bente sa loob ng isang araw, tapos mayroon namang sunod para bente uno, bente dos, anong sasabihin mo? Lord, increase my faith to be able to forgive the 21st, 22nd, till 38th, until 490. Lord, increase my faith. Amen? So sa gabing ito, ang Panginoon ay masyadong uh, patient sa atin, naghihintay sa atin. Marahil mayroon pa dyan na krisyano na, tumanggap ka na sa Panginoon. Kailangan mo ang bautismo. Why not just come? Stand up and tell the Lord, Lord, I'm going to follow you in water of baptism. You know why? The first step to obedience is baptism. Because baptism is a command. Baptism is a command. Then the next, if you are already baptized, you are already incorporated by the Lord to the body of Christ, which is the church. And the next is that, commit all your life unto the Lord. Amen? Ano nga yung sabi natin kagabi? Ano yung inaawit natin? In all thy ways acknowledge Him. In all thy ways acknowledge Him. In all thy ways acknowledge Him and He direct thy path. Amen? Amen. 
in all thy ways. In all thy ways. That means, Lord, my life, all my ways, I am now acknowledging you. It is yours. Sino nga yung mga nag-commit kagabi na magiging full-time ang buhay nyo sa Panginoon? Alam nyo, kailangan ulit-ulitin yan. To remind us na mayroon tayong hindi dapat kalimutan. Na sinabi natin sa Panginoon, Lord, nandyan, narito ngayon ang aking buhay, binibigay ko to sa iyo in a full-time work in the ministry. Amen? Nung sumuko ako sa Panginoon, In 1984, lagi kong sinasabi, Lord, isinuko ko na ang buhay ko sa iyo. Ngayon, hihingin ko sa mga nag-commit na. O bago ho yung mga nag-commit na. Bago yung nag-forward na kagabi. Kung hindi mo pa isinusuko ang buong buhay mo sa Panginoon, siguro 80% ibinigay mo na sa Panginoon. Mayroon ka pa ring reservation mayro ka pang 20 na ibinibigay sa Diablo. Kahit isang porsyento, huwag mong bibigyan ng Diablo. Ngayon, sasabihin mo ngayong gabi, Lord, enough is enough. Hindi ko na po pagbibigyan ng kahit isang minuto, kahit isang segundong kaisipan ang Diablo sa buhay ko. Buong buhay ko na ibibigay ko sa iyo ngayong gabi. Kasama dyan ang aking pilosopeya, ang aking mga pangarap. Kasama dyan ang aking pinagsisikapan. Kasama dyan ang aking profesyon. Kasama dyan ang aking kayamanan. Panginoon, ibibigay ko ang aking buhay para sa iyo ako maglingkod. And I will come to my pastor. Pupuntahan ko ang aking pastor. Sasabihin ko sa kanya, Panginoon, buhay ko. O ang sasabihin natin sa ating pastor, Pastor, ang buhay ko'y binigay ko na sa Panginoon. At narito ako ngayon para po samahan ka, partneran ka, tuwangan ka. Ang sabi 2 Corinthians chapter 8, they gave themselves first to the Lord and unto us or unto the pastors. So tonight, kung mayroon pa sa inyo na hindi pa isinusuko ang iyong buhay, ibigay nyo ngayon sa Panginoon ngayong gabi. Tingnan natin kung ilan ang hindi pa nagsusuko sa Panginoon na mananatili sa upuan. Ikaw nakakaalam. Ikaw ang nakakaalam kung isinuko mo na ang buong buhay mo sa Panginoon. With all the preachings, with all of what you have heard, with all the songs that tells us all to Jesus, I surrender. All to Jesus, not only some, but all to Jesus. All to Jesus. Kung tiyak mo ang buhay mo na ikaw ay krisyano na, kailangan mong ibigay lahat-lahat yan sa Panginoon. Huwag mong bibigyan ng kahit kaunti ang Diablo kasi pananagutan mo yan sa Diablo o sa Diyos pagdating ng panahon. Iyan ang katakutan natin. So kung mayroon sa inyo, tingnan natin, ilan sa ating magiging honest sa ating Diyos at sa ating sarili. Ilan ba sa atin ang hindi pa nagkukumit ng buhay and ng full-time service sa Panginoon? Ang matitira sa upuan. Pero kung hindi mo pa kinukumit ang buhay mo, ngayon, ibigay mo ang buhay mo sa Panginoon ngayon. Can you stand and come to the altar? Iimbitahan kita. Hindi ko pa po ikinumit ang buhay ko sa Panginoon kagabi. Hindi pa rin po ako full-time worker ng Panginoon sa aming simbahan. I am now inviting you to commit your life totally to the Lord. Will you? Will you stand up and come to the altar and tell the Lord, Lord, here is my life. I'm returning it to you. Use it because this is not mine. This is yours. Will you? Mayroon po bang tatayo? Sino yung mga nag-commit na ng buhay sa Panginoon? Kung ikinumit mo na ang iyong buhay sa Panginoon in the last moment para sa atin po pagbago magwakas ang atin po camp, hihingin ko na yung lahat ng nag-commit, yung totoong nag-commit sa Panginoon. Well, you again, right tonight, stand up 
can come to the altar. Punuin niyo po ito. Tingnan natin. Kung naalala niyo pa ang commitment niyo. Lord, ang buhay kong ito para sa iyo na. Wow. 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 Ang buhay kong ito, Panginoon, ay para sa iyo. Gagamitin sa iyo lahat ng lakas ko, lahat ng oras ko, lahat ng mayroon ako. It will be yours to use. Amen. Amen. Come on. Wow. There will be hundreds of people, then thousands and even millions. Kung maalala nyo ang commitment nyo ngayong gabi sa Panginoon, patuloy sa inyong buhay. Lord, I am yours. Therefore, I'm going to obey whatever you wanted me to do. Come on. O yung iba, pwede dito. Come on. Okay. Please. Iba dito. Amen. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Because of your commitment, because of what you have, given to the Lord tonight. Our churches will no longer be the same by tomorrow. Our family is no longer the same by tomorrow. Our community will be impacted and will no longer be the same by tomorrow. Because from tonight, you will not just be, and you are not only be a better person. You are God's person. And God's person live in righteousness. Mawawala ng mga may bisyo na kakaibigan ninyo pagkat walang krisyanong may bisyo. Mawawala yung mga ill of the society. Walang tunay na krisyano na ill ng society. Walang pamilya na magkakaroon ng pag-aaway-away kung ang pamilyang yan ay pamilyang krisyano. Ngayon, uso ang iskam. Kaya sinasabi ko to sa inyo, pag mga katulad natin, katulad nyo, na isinuko ang buhay sa Panginoon, hindi kayo mangi-iskam. Amen? Kadami ngayon ang iiskam pati mga kristyano at mga pastor, kasama. And I want, and God wanted us to become a catalyst. I'm glad for our city administrator na sa ngayon ay tumanggap sa Panginoon. You please, and I pray for him. Put him in your prayer. I will ask even our mayor, Put him in your prayer. Our governor, all the officials of the government, ilagay nyo sa panalangin nyo. You pray for our city administrator. I'll call him now, no longer administrator, but I'm going to call him a brother. Tutuo ng maharlika. Ang pangalan niya ay maharlika eh. Humingi lang po ako ng permiso kanina kung pwede kong tawagin siya ng wafi. Pero ang pangalan talaga niya ay Maharlika. May Maharlika na siyang dugo dahil ang dugo ng Panginoong Isokristo na ang nananalay tayo. Amen? Once you accept Jesus, nananalay tayo ang Maharlikang dugo sa iyo. Sa lahat ng nag-commit ng buhay sa Panginoon, Those who have decided to follow Jesus true, 
their lives would like to be used by God. Tumayo po kayo dyan. I'd like you to receive a card like this and fill it up with your name. Ng yung simbahan. Pangalan ng simbahan. Pangalan ng pastor. At ilalagay mo dyan, I have decided to follow Jesus through. Ilalagay mo dyan. Patupit sa at ang lugar. At iyan ay tatandaan mo palagi. Amen? Kung anong sinulat mo dito, ito po ay kukuliktayin namin. Huwag ko kayong lalabas na hindi nyo po itiniwan para may mananalangin po sa inyo. Amen? You have committed your life to God through then we will we are going to pray for you true also amen buong panahon papanalangin namin kayo so please fill it up wag ko kayong lalabas na hindi pa po ito na fill up an yung lahat ng tumayo lahat ng pumunta i'm sorry maliit ang ating altar by next year by next camp we have mas marami na tayo pero ang masaya ko, dahil pagdating nyo, pag uwi nyo, sasabihin nyo sa inyong pastor, pastor, nandito na po ako, kasama nyo na po ako sa gawain. Amen? Buong buhay ko ay kasama nyo sa gawain. The rewards are awaiting. Ang rewards sa buhay ko ay napakalaki. Dahil sa pagsuko ko ng aking buhay sa Panginoon. The power to transform is in the Word of God. There is no other power that can transform the life of an ambitver. Only Christ can. Only the power of the Holy Spirit. Remember, it is God whom you have accepted. To God, you have surrendered your life. Amen? Kayo ang aasahan ng mga tao sa paligid nyo. Kayo ang aasahan ng pamilya nyo. Be the person God wanted you to become. The world is waiting for us. Before it's too late, gumalaw na tayo. Amen? Ayan, hindi tayo magkasya. Masaya kayo? Yung hindi pa binibigay ang buhay sa Panginoon, I challenge you. Walang kapantay, walang katumbas ang nagsusuko ng buhay sa Panginoon. Mananalangin ho tayo at magwawakas sa panalangin. Pastor, Eugene, will you please come? Si Pastor Eugene sana magpipreach pa. Ako sana magpipreach pa. But I opted no longer. Kasi marami sa atin, uuwi at aalis na yung papuntang Santa Rosa. Amen? Mamaya pa aalis sila. Pero papayagan ba natin? Eh, bukas ay eh, pupunta pa tayo doon sa mga scenery, mga views. Ano yan? But, hindi maaaring hindi tayo magwakas ngayong gabi. Amen? Masaya kayo ngayong gabi? Papapanalanginan ko na lang ho kayo, Pastor. Ipanalangin niyo po lahat ng nag-forward. Please pray for all of us. Lahat ng nag-forward. Okay. Mamaya pa po tayo magkuklose. Pero gusto kong ipanalangin kayo ni Pastor Eugene. By the way, si Pastor Eugene ay tubong iriga. Pinanganak sa iriga. Tatay niya ay iriginyo. Amen? Taga Santiago, iriga. Panalangin niyo ako yung natutuwa. Pagkat uh, for many years, since 1996, hindi kami nagkita. Since 1996, ngayon lang uli siya nakabalik dito. He has been a speaker to us in 1996. Nung tayo'y nagsisimula ng ating building, dyan pa, sa ilalim. Wala pa to. Dyan pa lang sa baba. In 1996. And thank you for that, Pastor. Please pray for all of us. Alright. Tayo po ay uh, tumayo lahat at tayo po ay manalangin. Ama namin Diyos, ang pagkakataong ito ay napaka uh, halaga sapagkat ang buhay na maraming mga kaluluwang ito ay 
isinoko sa inyo sa hamon na ibinigay ang salita ng Diyos at naintindihan na ang paglilingkod sa Diyos ay higit sa paglilingkod sa mundo ito. Kami po ay nagkakaroon ng uh, pagitiwala at upang kami ay uh, humingi sa iyo, Panginoon, ng basbas sa bawat isa, mga nanay at mga tatay, mga kabataan, mga bata na uh, nangako at isnulat ang kanilang mga pangalan, ang kanilang pastor, ang kanilang simbahan. Narito bang papel nito ay nagpapakita upang sila ay uh, magpatutuo na sila ay nangako sa inyo kailanman hindi, po, hindi kakalas doon sa kanilang binitiwa na salita sabagat ano man pong aming sinabi, ito ay nakatala sa langit. At Panginoong Diyos, tanggapin nyo ang mga anak pong inyong ito na kaming lahat bilang mga anak ninyo ay nangangako na maglilingkod sa inyong kaharian hanggang bumalik si Kristo hanggang kami kunin nyo kami pa ng Diyos nandito po ngayong gabi upang uh, humingi sa inyo ng, uh, ng inyong uh, pag, pagbibindisyon sa lahat ng desisyon na ginawa ng bawat isa sa amin, Panginoon. At inyo po panatulungan ang mga anak mong ito na isang araw tutoksoy ng demonyo magkakaroon ng alilangan, aakiti ng mundo, sila ay muling ibabalik sa pagkalito, ibabalik sa confusion. Subalit, Panginoon, aming hiniling na kami yung sakluluhan sa pagdating ng mga panahon na kami po liligligin ng satanas sa aming mga binitiwang salita at mga, mga pangakong ito na kami pong tinala sa inyo. So, Ama, yung lukuban ng iyong banal na spirito ng iyong balang na dugo, ng inyong mga anghel, kung paano kayo nagministeryo kay Philip, na yung pinadala ng anghel, na yung binigyan na ba ng Espiritu upang yunukong iyon ay maligtas at mabautas muan. Panginoong Diyos, kami nagsumamo po ngayong gabi upang kung paano nagministeryo kayo ng unang mga panahon, Panginoon, ngayon pong sa panahon ng iglesia ninyo, kami tulungan niyo po ang mga iglesia ang nagrepresenta na lumago at hawakan ang bawat manggagawa na nagtalaga na sinabi nila, Panginoon, we will follow Jesus. I will follow Jesus. Panginoon, iyo pong tulungan kaming lahat sa mga oras na ito, kahabagan, bindisyonan, tulungan, bigyan ng kaawaan ang bawat isa sa amin, ang bawat iglesia, ang bawat pastor, ang bawat manggagawa, Panginoon, aming hiling ang inyong pagpapala. Purihin ang iyong pangalan, maging po sa aming panawing atorne na tumanggap sa Panginoon. Salamat sa buhay niya, gamitin mo siya bilang isang uh, uh, official ng aming bayan. Salamat po sa buhay niya. Ito lamang ang aming samasamang dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Please be seated. Amen. Praise God. Yung iba sa inyo, dyan na umupo para hindi na kayo magsiksikan. Lampas na tayong 500. Pag nag-600 na tayo, ayan, gagamitin na natin sa baba. So, sa inyong mga nagsuko ng buhay para sa gawain, again, remind, remind yourself all the time. Lagi niyong paalalahanan ang inyong sarili buong panahon na kayo ay sumuko na sa Panginoon. Huwag niyo rin kakalimutan ito. Tandaan niyo to. Mula nang isuko mo sa Panginoon ang iyong buhay, hindi ka titigilan ng jablo. Hindi ka titigilan ng jablo. And listen here, the Word of God says, They that will live godly in Christ Jesus, ulitin ko po, They that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Ang tutuong mamumuhay sa Diyos ay dadaanas ng pagsubok at pagtuya dadaan niya ng persecution. Amen? Hello, Christians. May nagtanong sa akin, 
Eh bakit may mga nagsasabing Kristiyano hindi dumadaan ng persecution? Nagsasabi lang silang Kristiyano pero hindi totoong Kristiyano. Nagsasabing Kristiyano hindi namumuhay sa Diyos. Nagsasabi lang, hindi ko mo nagkiklaim na Kristiyano ay Kristiyano na. Hindi ko mo nagkiklaim naglilingkod sa Panginoon ay Kristiyano na. Ang totoong Kristiyano ay tumanggap sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. So, palalahan na natin ang ating sarili. Pastor Christian, what's the next? Okay. So, bago po tayo mag-distribute ng uh, certificate, karoon yes. muna po tayo ng offering. Ah, mag-offering tayo? Mag-offering muna. Talaga? Opo. Ganito yan. Gusto niyong pagpalain. Amen? Gusto niyo maging masaya at bumalik ang ating mga speakers? Hello? Amen. Gusto niyo masaya at bumalik ang ating mga speakers? Alabigyan niyo niya ng pagrudo. Bigyan niyo niya ng kasisiyan. Amen? We thank the Lord for everything. Speakers, all of the pastors, nagpapasalamat kami sa Panginoon sa inyo. Pero mag-o-offering ho tayo, ha? Amen? Mayroon na ho akong nakalaan para sa ating speakers, baka mamaya. Ha? Para sa ating mga pastor at sa speakers. Remember this, never allow the man of God leaving your place empty-handed. Wag na wag niyong iaalaw na ang lingkod ng Diyos ay aalis sa lugar na walang laman o dala ang kanyang kamay. Amen? Bago pa ako makiat dito, ang sabi ko ay uh, yung pambigay. Saan ba yung ano? Oh, andito ang ating uh, oh, andito si Darling. Ang ating uh, finance, ano yan? Sabi niya, lagi kong balance si pastor. Hindi pwedeng may kahit piso mawala sa listahan. Every disbursement, may listahan po yan. So, uh, may iabot na tayo sa ating mga pastor. Amen? So, yung lahat ng ating guest pastor, lahat ng guest, ay mayroon ho tayong ibibigay. So, may I ask all the guest pastor na tumayo muna po dito o pumunta sa unahan para madalian po tayo. Kasi yung iba ay magmamadaling umuwi. Pero kakain pa tayo. Ako'y natutuwa pagkat ang ating kapatid, kapatid ng tawag ko sa kanya, ang ating kapatid ay nagstay sa atin at ipapanalangin natin patuloy. So, Pastor Christian, ano po sunod? Yung mga certificate of attendance ng lahat ng ating campus na mga umatend, uh, iyan po ay uh, ipagbibigay po sa inyo. Pagbaba nyo po mamaya. Amen? Kasi kung papakyating ko kayo dito lahat, abutan tayo dito ng tangali bukas. <laughs> okay. So, Pastor Christian, please. Mag-offering, ma talagang insist dito siya na mag-offering. Are you willing to give your offering? Because it will be first a willing mind. Amen? Ayan, ayan. Para may kainin tayo bukas ng umaga. Amen. Okay, tayo pong lahat ay magsitayo at tayo po ay mananalangin para sa ating pagkakaloob. Let us pray. Gracious God and loving Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this great and wonderful activity na ibinigay niyo Panginoon sa amin. Maraming salamat Panginoon sa mga ginamit niyo Panginoon na para kami ay pagpalain sa inyong salita at syempre sa mga natutunan Panginoon. Maraming salamat Panginoon sa lahat ng blessing na yan. Dalangin po namin ang aming pagkakaloob. Pagpalain niyo po ang magbibigay itong aming samod dalangin sa matamis na pangalan ng aming Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen. Habang po tayo nag-offering, ay tatawagan ko po yung ating mga guest pastors at yung mga pastor po ng Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church na pagkatapos yung po mag-offering o makiyat po kayo dito sa ating pong uh, one loaf. God hath done. Amen. Okay, so it... Yung mga pastor po, 
ay akin pong tatawagan yung ating mga guest na pastor. Will you please uh, come up o babasahin ko na muna po. Ayan. Ayan. Ito, mayroon po tayo para po sa ating uh, mga blessing. Ang una pong tatawagan ko ay si Pastor Floyd, ang ating pong guest from Baguio. I see. Amen. We the certificate and uh, ayan. Pastor, saan yung mga pastor natin ng LBBCI? Si, will you please come up right here? Pastor Rick. Ayan. Pastor Sorry. Pastor Willie. Pastor. Pastor Books. Pastor Jerry. Pastor Sito. Pastor Joel. Amen. Ayan. I'm sorry for calling you guest. That's for the speaker. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Ayan. Ayan. Kasi anak ka niya ay magiging player na ng iriga para sa national. Ayan. na disqualify doon sa Karaga dahil sa ang kanyang ang kanyang uh, uh, diploma sa school ay Lighthouse Baptist Academy Iriga City so uh, lalaro sana sa so, manlalaro ng bansa basketball ano yan player pambansa yan kaya lang na disqualify dahil ang kanyang uh, diploma ay Iriga City ang address. Amen. Okay. We also have for Pastor Absalon or Pastor Elisar. Thank you so much for the blessing you had shared for us. Amen. With the certificate. Of course, we have for Pastor Eugene Absalon. Sa aking kaibigan. Yung pastor's wife nga pala, I'm sorry. Pwede niyong samahan po ang inyong, ano yan? Ang inyong asawa. Pastor. Pastor. Pastor, ito pa po, kasama po po dyan eh. Kasi pag maluha ka po, pag alimbawa po, nabuksan mo yan at uh, medyo nalungkot ka, luluha ka. Kasama po yan. Mamaya ko mag-preach. Ayan. Ayan. Sa asawa. Tapos yung, yung plant po. Yung plant. Ayan. Uh, we include a plant. Ayan. Sa asawa ng pastor. Ito po palalakihin nyo. Ito pong barayting ito ay napakarami ng simbahan ang ating binigyan. Ito po yan. Ito malalaking dahon na to, Amen? O, ito po ay para sa mga pastor's wife. Kasama po sa inyong palalaki. Tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano palakihin at kung paano po kayo magpo-propagate. Ako po mismo ang nag-propagate nito. Kaya napakarami nito dyan. At uh, ayan. So lahat ng pastor's wife. And of course, we have Pastor Danny Del Mondo. Pastor Joel Okielda. Amen. Every quarter po, mayroon tayong camp. Mayroon po tayong okasyon. At salamat, lagi itong narito. Every Friday po sa ating klase ng pastors and preachers ng ating simbahan, na napupuno ito halos, ala, every Monday, Si Pastor Joel po ay lagi narito. Of course, another Joel. Another Joel. Pastor Joel, with your wife. Pastor Joel Arevalo. Babiyahin din po ito. Papunta ng, ano yan? Papunta ng Davao ba? Ah, saan nga ba? Oh, papunta ng Davao. Jensen. Ayan, Pastor. Para sa inyo po. Para sa sawa niyo. 
Then of course we have Pastor Roland Cardenas. From Tinambak. Yeah, San si Mrs. niya. Yeah, pagibigay niyo na po. Thank you so much. Si Pastor Roland, ang dahilan kung bakit mayroon tayo dito mga bakal. Ito, siyang gumawa niyan. Tatapusin niya pa. Tatapusin niya pa. Then we have Pastor Alex. Tan. Yung iba pong pastor, ina, hini, inaanan po po na pwede po makiat na lang po kayo sa pulpito. Kasi po, uh, ayan, please, sabi ni, sabi ni Pastor, ayan, yung iba pong Pastor, ala? Saan si Pastor Judy? Pastor Judy, ayan. Ibinibilang pa ni, pati kasi niya ang kanyang sarili na bahagi pa rin. Yeah, kaya ayaw niyang tumayo. Pero ito, ayan, salamat. Amen. Amen. O mayroon pa, yung mga pastor po, guest pastor. Ayan. Amen. Thank you for that, Pastor Christian. Salamat. Wala na po, Pastor Jan, na guest natin. Kung may katabi kayong pastor, baka... Ah, ito lang wala. So, abangan nyo po ang susunod na camp. Ang susunod natin yung okasyon. Every quarter po, mayroon po tayo dito sa Iriga. Every quarter po yan. Pagkatapos, may mga special uh, schedules pa po tayo at patuloy po tayo magsasama-sama. Grow yourself, root yourself in the Lord. Amen. Pastor Christian, Thank you pa. Yung mga nagluto sa atin, thank you po sa inyo. Yung mga nagdala ng bigas, lahat ng dinala nyo, salamat sa inyo. Kayo po ang buhay ng inyong pastor. Thank you so much sa inyo. Hindi ko po kayang suplian o bayaran ng inyong mga serbisyo. Thank you for being a partner to us. God bless. Salamat po. Okay. So... Ngayon po, bibigyan po natin ng certificate yung mga delegates natin. Pero pupunta na lang po kayo dito sa taas to, um, as a group to receive your certificates. Okay? So, una ko pong tatawagin our delegates from Santa Rosa. Sila na po ang inuna ko kasi they are about to leave. Where are you? Alip po kayo dito at magpa-picture tayo. Dito po kayo. Siguro po kasama po yung mga pastor natin. Yung mga congregation pastor, please. Come over. Santa Rosa. Congregation pastors, please. Ito po kayo. Opo, opo. Isa na lang. Para mabilis tayo. So, mag-iingat po kayo sa inyong biyahe. So, see you on the next music camp next year dito sa Iriga City. Oh, tingin sa taas, guys. Doon sa taas. Doon sa taas. Ayun, iikay. Tingin, dikit-dikit lang. Next. Tawagin natin yung ating mga delegates sa Mitka, Las Piñas. Where are you? Please come over. Mitka people from Las Piñas. Mitka, Las Piñas. Dito po kayo. Come on. Uh, para meron tayong souvenir. At meron din ko yung isi-share pang padagdag kasi yan ang ano namin sa face. Anong tawag dyan, Bia? Oh, pampadagdag po yan ng engagement. Akala nyo ah. May purpose yan. 
Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo, hanapin nyo na lang po yung picture nyo sa page namin. Opo, come on. Yung lahat ng delegates from Mitka. Okay? So, hanapin nyo na lang po yung picture nyo. Dito po kayo sa taas, come on. Hanapin nyo na lang po yung picture nyo sa, sa page namin, Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church of Iriga City. Okay? Then, you share it. Okay? Para magdagan yung engagement namin. One, two, three, go. Go. Okay, next. Mitka Tansa. Tansa. Where are you people from Mitka? Tansa. Okay. Siguro, bilis-bilis lang po siguro tayo. Gutom na kayo? Ah, lilipas lang yan. Okay. Okay, next in line will be Mitka Naik. Mitka Naik. Okay. One, two, three, go. Nakon tagal ni Ikay. Okay na? Okay, next. Naik. Next in line will be LBBC Pulangi. Where are you? LBBC Pulangi. Dito na po kayo para sunod agad kayo. Madami sila eh. Come on. Dito po kayo. Bilis po. Run, 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 run. Next. SGBBC Ocampo. Saan yung SGBBC Ocampo? Sige po. Okay. Tingin sa taas. Look up. Sama si Pastor Chudy. Okay. Look up. One, two, three, go. Okay. Thank you very much. SGBBC Pulangi. Ay, Ocampo, sorry. Ocampo pala. Come on. Ay, dito, dito, sorry. Ano ba yan? Excited. Then, ang susunod po niyan, ang susunod po ay Libon. Dito na po kayo, Libon. BBCL. BBCL Libon. Wala na po nga palak pa. BBC Lab Libon. Come on. Then, ang sunod po ng BBC L Libon is Sorsogon. Mag-ready na po dito sa kabila yung Sorsogon. Dito po sa kabila. Sorsogon people dito sa kabila. Okay, ready? One, two, three, click. <laughs> okay, next. So, so go on. Next. BBC Tabaco, please prepare dito po sa kabila. BBC Tabaco, dito po sa aking left side. BBC Tabaco, please stand up. Dito na kayo. BBC Tabaco. Okay, look up. Ready? One, two, three, click. Okay, next. BBC Tabaco. Come on, dito na po. Dito na, para mas mabilis. Ang sunod po ng BBC Tabaco, tayo na po kayo. Tinambak. Our people from Tinambak, mag-prepare na po kayo. Our delegates from Tinambak.
Tinambak. Then, Libon, GBC. Libon, GBC po ang sunod. Pagkatapos ng Tinambak, Libon, GBC. Oh, sa taas po. Come on. GBC. RCBC. Kalbari pala ito. Kalbari, kaya pala hindi tumatay. Hindi, G kasi pagkakita ko. Okay. Libon, CBC. Next. Please prepare. Mag-ready na po. Ano ko, dami nyo pala. Sige, okay lang yan. Sige, adjust po. Adjust. Sige. Para mas madami magsishare. Come on. Sige pa po. Oh, sa taas. Pwede sa taas. Yan. Yan. O, oh, hanapin nyo yung ano, yung picture nyo sa page namin, ha? Tapos ishare nyo. Okay? Okay? Oh, ready? One, two, three. Click. <laughs> oh, Naga, kiburak. Kiburak Naga, San Kiburak. The next po sa Kiburak. Wala na. Ay, nakita ko ata si Ad. Si Mampe, kanina. Awala na. Pakol Naga. Pakol Naga. Yung mga sa congregations natin, bibigyan din kayo. Okay, don't worry. Basta ang usapan natin, hanapin nyo yung picture nyo sa ano, sa page. <laughs> Tapos isishare nyo. Lahat magla-like at magsishare. A-like muna. Tapos share. Pwede din kayo mag-comment. Okay? Okay, next. Oh. Ligaw. LBBC IC Ligaw. Oh, mga congregations na natin to. Pastor Willie, magsishare ka ha. Hanapin mo yung picture nyo. Bilis. Bilis. Ang sunod ng ligaw, pili. Mag-prepare na yung pili. Pili people, our congregations in uh, ang, our uh, congregation from pili. One, two, three, click. Okay, pili. Pastor Boggs. Next. Sunod po sa pili. Naga. Prepare na po yung naga. Naguli na. Hindi, andyan pa o. Oh. Andyan pa. Andyan pa o. Oh. Doon, doon mo. Mo. Sige. Yan. Ang usapan natin, ano? Iligpit nyo lang yung certificate na yan. Magagamit nyo yan. Okay, next. Naga. Naga na. O, oh, bilis po. Naga. Then, sunod sa naga, buhi. Prepare na po dito, yung buhi. Okay, ang exit natin dito, ang entrance dito. Okay, dito ang entrance, dito sa kabila yung exit. Buhi, come on, tayo na kayo. 
One, two, three, click. Oh, buhi. Pastor Siloy. Si Pastor Roy di nag-iba. Oh, pagkatapos ng buhi, susunod po yung congregation natin sa Nabwa. Nabwa. Prepare na yung Nabwa. Okay na? Okay. Nabwa. Nabwa. With their congregation pastor, Pastor Jordan Katangi. Nabwa. Sunod sa Nabwa, Valenzuela. Mag-prepare na dito yung Valenzuela. Parang dami ng fans ng Valenzuela. Ha? Wow, they travel all the way from Valenzuela City. yung mga dinitrain ni Pastor Joel. One. Okay na. Nag-click na. Okay na. Sige. Oh, Valenzuela. Next. Batu. Please prepare Batu Congregations. Congregation. Batu. Dito na po kayo sa left side ko. Batu. Okay. And Wala mo nang bababa. Okay, next. Batu. Then, mamaya na to. Dami. Baaw. Yung batu muna. Prepare na po yung baaw. Oh, baaw. Oh, Oh, tingin. One, two, three, click. Oh, baaw na. May nakamo. Dali na. Baaw. Then, sunod sa baaw, San Juan. Yan, kala nyo di kayo matatawag. Baaw to. Oh, baaw. Bilis. Yung iba, di magkasya sa taas na lang. Oh, dyan mo na yung San Juan. Okay, ready? Pwede na? O, oh, bilis. Bilis, ready? One. Tingin sa taas. One. Ah, Ma'am Adji, bilis. Asan na? Ma'am Teresa. Asan na? Okay na? Oh, ready? One, two, three, click. Next, San Juan people. Okay, balance doon, sok doon. Okay na? Oh, balance. Okay? Oh, ready. One, two, three, click. Okay. Okay. Come on, ah. Okay, next. Main. Uy, wow na ba? Uy, talagang ilat-ilat ninyo. <laughs> Main, tayo na. Pagkatapos po, magpipicture tayong lahat. Pero dito na lang. Okay. Meron pa tayong mga special awards. With cash pa ito yun. Oo. Oh, oh. With cash. Bilis. Kanya-kanyang project. Oh, basta ang usapan. Oh, makinig. Ang usapan natin, magla-like at magsishare. Okay. Oh, yung iba sa taas na. Nako. Oy. Nagasari ka. 
Alin po? Al oh, sa taas naman. Mami, tabi tayo. Siyempre. Taas. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Siyempre na sa diri. Okay. So, ganito. Saan tayo? Asan ba yung mga photographer natin? Saan tayo? Dito sa taas o dito sa baba? Ha? Gali. Dito na lang sa taas. Okay. Oh, invite. Lahat po tayo dito. Come on. Oh, punuin natin ito. Pakita. Huwag po si Pastor. And our guest, siyempre, si Pastor Froy. And, ay, speaker. Speaker. Oh, sige, hindi, hindi talaga guest yun dito. Oh, kasama natin yun. And kung nandyan pa po si, ano, si Attorney Waferina, please, baka andyan pa. Madali lang po. Come on, bilis po. Bilis. Oh, ta dito sa taas. Come on, tayo na kayo bilis para mata... Ma Makatapos na tayo. Oh, find your most convenient and most. Oh, dito, dito pwede din dito. Biya, saan? Oh, din mo, dito muna daw lahat. Come on. Oh, dito, dito, dito sa pulpit ni Pastor. Pwede dyan. Yung maliliit. Pastor, dito po kayo. Attorney, dito po. Sa unahan. Yan. Pastor Froy Pastor Absalom Pastor Absalom Dito po kayo, sama po kayo dito Si Pastor Elezar and Pastor Eugene Pastor Froy Ha? Pastor Froy Pastor Froy, di ka bisita. Di ka dito. Ha? Oh, may space pa dito sa taas. Come on. Mami, dito ka. Kita tayo. Oh, yung mga boys, pwede naman dito sa third floor dyan, oh. Paon ng light. Oh, ayaw. Gusto talaga dito. Okay na yan. Sige, ready. Ano po? Music and Blessing Conference 2024. Yay! Ganon, okay? Ready. Uh, picture muna, picture. Look up. Ready. And click. Ipa. Okay, ready. Ano sasabihin biya? Music and Blessing Conference 2024. Okay? Ready. Take one. One. Oh, oh ready. Go. Music and Blessing Conference 2024. Oh, look pa. Oh, isa pa daw, isa pa. Isa pa. Ready. Ready, go! Okay, thank you very much. Hi, San Francisco. O nga pala, San Francisco people. I'm sorry. Okay. San Francisco, maiwan na dito. Oh. Sige na. Oh, picture din kayo, syempre. Okay. May special award pa tayo. Makalimutan ko. Okay. Special award. Oh. Suma nga, San Francisco, dali na. Thank you po, attorney, for coming. Oh, sa dinaunaan. 
Okay na to. Oh, okay. Sige, okay na daw yun. Okay. So, our special award, uh, ito yung my cash. My cash ito. Oh. First pastor to register online. Parang, simple kasi isang may ano. Okay na yan. Oh. First pastor to register doon sa online form natin, Pastor Jordan Katangi. Parang may ano to ah. Oh, hindi, hindi niya naman expected na mag ano, mayroon tayong special award na ganito. Pastor Jordan Katangi, where are you? Oh. Forfeited pag wala. Oh. Oh, yung sa atin yon hindi. Yung sa atin kasi yon While yung first guest pastor natin na kapag register online, Pastor Joel Arevalo. Oh, meron pa dito pang gasolina, Pastor Joel. Pastor Joel Arevalo. First guest pastor na nakapag register. Ana sa ana sa baba. Pabigay na lang. Okay? Then First member natin na nakapag-register online. Tawagin natin si from Buhi Congregation. Takot lang nito kay Pastor Siloy at saka Pastor Jordan. Tawagin natin si Vixel Bacho. Oh, dali na, dalagan Vixel. Vixel, takbo. Oh. Malilipri ka sa akin mamaya. Ay, bukas. Ah. Next. Oh, ito yung pinaka earliest. Pinaka maagang dumating. Earliest. On-site. On-site, ha? On-site. Van Sire Oronan. Ah, saan si Sire? Wala na. Ah, uh, forfeited. Oh, forfeited yun. Okay. So, kanina, si Pastor RJ nag ang tawag doon? Yung humingi siya ng notes. Okay, ito yung pinakakompleto. Okay. ba diba? Yung merong kompletong notes. So, yung talagang pinaka- detalyado yung pagkasulat talagang halos oo halos ko lang na lang i-transcribe lahat ng sinabi yung mga speaker natin okay David Glaisa Nicole David Glaisa Nicole kanina to anong congregation ka or anong church ah Valenzuela Nako, Pastor Joel, oh, parang may may bonus pa to kay Pastor Joel. Oh, Pastor Joel, take charge. May bonus. Parang baduya din to, ah. Baduya ba to? Ha? Ba- oh, sabi ko na. Okay. Pakita mo, yan. Baduya pala to, eh. Okay. Next. Yo, uh, yung detailed yon, detail. Ito semi detailed. <laughs> semi detail kaya 50 pesos lang. <laughs> Sorry na. Okay. The semi detailed notes. Gwen, Valerie, Agustin. Hi, Valenzuela din masisipag itong mga kasama ni Pastor Joel. Pastor Joel, parang madadamihan ka ata nito pag uwi nyo ha. Dalawa na. Okay? So, yun po. Doon po nagtatapos yung ating mga special awards. So, what's with this music camp? So, ano na? Kain na tayo. Kain na tayo. Okay? So, bago tayo mag-close sa panalangin, um, congratulations po sa lahat. By the way, yung para sa mga teacher, oo nga pala, hindi pwedeng wala. 
Tawagin, isa-isa. Oh, isa na lang. Vixel Bacho. Dito ka. Russell Joy, Masayon. Roan, Orolfo. Magdalena, Teresa, T. Brigala. Siyempre, my beautiful wife. Pia, Lorraine, Kamungaw. Dito na po kayo, yung mga tinatawag ko. Parloff na lang po. Parloff na lang. Pabi. Rayan Orolfo, pakikuha na lang yung cert po kay, ano, kay Pastor Books. Then, dyan na po kayo sa Quarloff. Tumayo para mabilis tayo. Rayan, Rayan Orolfo. Mary Joan O. Oh, Zabalya, sino to? Ah, si Unique. Nako. Ay ba? Layo naman. Okay. Rick Daniel Chua. Oh, dito na. Pag natawag, bilis. Ayla, Claire, Kathleen, eh, da, ang haba naman. Ayla, Claire, Kathleen, and Mendo, Mendones. Ruti Ann, kan sino to? <laughs> po. Okay, sorry. Diana Nakario. Oh, baduya din to. Rachel, Russell Joy, Masayo. O, oh, baluya din to. Andito na. Naulit. Ba't dala, dalawa ka? Kayong gumawa, no? <laughs> Neshi, Damsel, Belleza, si Didi, Kesea, B. Brigala, Carmi, P. De Jesus, Jaira, P. Kium, Jessa Grace, P. Kium, Jessa Grace Picium, Mariel O. Orolfo, Mariel, what's up, buddy? Mariel, Renzel Bidait, Caroline Barcela, Errol Jan, Pogi Pedimonte, yun, to. Pogi yan, si Pastor, ay si, ano, Errol, Richard Raymond, Alvaro, Marjon Manabat, Pastor Jason Kamungaw, Preacher Joshua Katangi, Preacher Ronir, Ja Jehaya Bidait, si Ronji, Pastor David Jan Bellesa, Pastor Robert Jairi Omirin, Pastor si Pastor RJ po, nakaalis na po, andun na po siya sa Ligaspi, on the way to Ligaspi, Please pray for him. He will take his um, board examination sa electronics engineer engineering starting tomorrow until Saturday. So let's pray for him. Okay. Pastor Alvin Obra. Pastor Jordan Katangi. Pastor Omer. John Omer and Brigala. And Pastor Christian B. Brigala. Andun na po. Ah, uh, AJ, Marine. Nga pala. AJ, Marine. Okay, picture. Mami, abay kita. Siyempre. Oh, picture. Oh, picture. Ready? One. Okay. Ang tagal. Kawan. Okay, thank you very much. So, bago po tayo mag-close sa panalangin, ang gusto, gusto po natin pasalamatan, syempre, ang unang-una, ang Panginoong Yesu Kristo. Okay? Ano yan? By the way, yung mga members natin, members, please yung card nyo, yung iwanan nyo po doon sa ID, ID card and holder, yung mga members natin, iwanan nyo po doon sa registration area. Okay? Yung mga members natin, LBBC IC members. 
Okay? Pero bago po tayo mag-close sa panalangin, gusto ko pong pasalamatan, siyempre unang-una, gusto po nating pasalamatan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Siyempre, He make these all things possible. ba? Diba? So, this is a free um, camp and blessing conference. Wala po tayo ditong binayaran. Okay? Kumain tayo ng tatlong araw. ba? Diba? Nabusog ba kayo? O, oh, sinong nagutom? O, oh, pag may nagutom, may problema yon. <laughs> Ayaw kumain nun. ba? Diba? So, madami po tayong, kung nagugutom na kayo, may pagkain, may pagkain po tayo nakahanda dyan. And pangalawa po, siyempre gusto po natin pasalamatan ng ating mahal na pastor for uh, sa vision, conceptualizing, pag-conceptualize sa activity ito. Okay? So, actually, dati ko na po itong sinabi kay pastor last year pa, pastor, ano kaya ako kung mag, mag music camp tayo? Then, he make these things possible. Siya po ang talaga nag-conceptualize po nito. Kahit po yung schedule and everything. Thank you very much, pastor, sa vision and guidance. And syempre, the people behind this activity, the organizers, at syempre, nandyan sila, Ma'am Ruti, sila, Pastor RJ, Pastor Jordan, and, and everything, Pastor Alvin, Pastor, Pastor DJ, thank you very much. Sino pa? Lahat, lahat na. Kung hindi ko kayo mapangalanan, wag po kayo magtatampo. And also, the committee, head, yung mga focal person, at yung mga nagtrabaho po, lahat po kayo, thank you very much. Party po kayo ng Uh, activity ito. Okay? So, hindi po ito mangyayari kung hindi din po sa ating lahat. Okay? So, syempre, yung mga kapatid po natin, yung mga, mga people, our people there in kitchen na talagang grabe yung sakripisyo, gumigising po yan ng maaga pa. Okay? Para mag mamalengke. Okay? Thank you very much po sa inyo. Pastor Uboy, and Pastor Bebot, and the rest. Thank you very much. And syempre, sa lahat ng ating congregation pastor, sa support nyo po, at lahat ng pastors and preachers po natin. Thank you very much for your support. Pastor Tur, and lahat, lahat, basta lahat po. Okay? So, tayo pong lahat ay magsitayo. At tayo po ay mag-close sa panalangin. And be excited. Actually, hindi siya perfect na activity, but maganda po yung outcome ng activity natin. Anong kagandahan doon? Madaming buhay ang sumuko sa Panginoon. And that's, that's it. Okay? So, let's pray. Next year, we will have our season 2. Season 1 ito, okay? Season 2, dapat nandun kayo, okay? Mas madami ang prices natin, Pastor Joel. Baka Baka ubusin ng Balinsuela, nako. Oh. Nag-pray po tayo dahil ikaw ang may pinakamaraming 100 pesos. Ikaw po, Pastor Joel, na magkuklose sa panalangin. Okay, manatili po tayo nakatayo. Manalangin po tayo. Let's pray. Lord, thank you very much sa tagumpay ng aming pag-iipon sa conference at camp na ito, Panginoon. Thank you very much, Lord, sa lahat ng messages. Thank you very much, Lord, sa aming pastor na andyan ng patuloy na uh, pagkaloob ng kanyang buong buhay, Panginoon, na magamit patuloy sa inyong ubasan. Salamat, Lord, sa mga patuloy na katuwang ng aming pastor. Salamat, Lord, sa tagumpayong ito. Purihin po kayo, Lord, at panalangin namin na pansamantala po kami maghihiwa-hiwalay. Hiling po namin, Lord, ang patuloy mong patnubay at gabay. At, Lord, ang lahat ng aming napakinggan, makita Lord, dito sa aming mga personal na buhay. Salamat, Lord, sa lahat. Pinupuri ka namin sa lahat ng pagpapala. And likewise, Lord, sa uh, patuloy na gabay mo sa lahat ng mga delegates namin, Panginoon, na nakasalamuha at nakasama. Thank you very much, Lord, sa lahat. Pinupuri ka namin at dalangin namin ang lahat ng ito sa pangalan sa namin sa pagigtas. Amen. Amen. Okay. So, pwede na po tayong kumain. Okay. Yung mga certificate po ng mga pastors natin, uh, yung pastor po ng ministry natin, ang um, kunin na lang po, um, Rick Daniel Chua. Ikaw ang in-charge nito. Ibigay mo sa lahat ng pastor natin. Okay? <laughs>